The shooting star, wow. cause it birth right. I fucked your first cousin with the didgeridoo. And when she came, you know it sounded like wow, 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 wow. Yeah, you know what two bad teachers, yeah. You know what two bad teachers, yeah. You know what two bad teachers do a little dance and a drink a little wine. Yeah, how they get the money? Now they pissing on my couch. How they get so cool? You've been struck by the two bad teachers. Hi, I am Lone Identity. My favorite song is The Rose by Bette Midler. Some say love is a river that drowns the tender reed. I love it. I drank my Celsius. Now I am full of energy. Now let's start the show. Wow, TLI, thank you so much for that uh, introduction. And also, I didn't know you were a, a big fan of Bette Midler. So, uh... Uh, yes, you are welcome. I am Lone <laughs> Identity. I love Bette Midler. How do you, and how do you like the show so far? I love it. <laughs> I do. I don't even need you. I don't even need you yeah. anymore. <laughs> Eventually, I mean, that's what the whole point of this was to get enough uh, of me talking that I can just kind of be a soundboard. Yeah, I've got you like Bet Midler. Um, be here, yeah, you're allowed to be here if, if your mom said you could be here if you're nice and quiet. Yeah, I've got a lot. I've got a lot of stuff uh, in the works here. So let's welcome to uh, welcome to the stream. We're going to be doing some some jealousy calls from the from the Raptor Bacon channel. That was it was far and away the winner of that uh, of that poll that I that I put up. So. First off, let me say hi to uh, everyone in the chat. I knew that uh, like Vex was here and Aaron W were here earlier, but those messages have disappeared. I got Cyber Squeak, Polynomial Purebred, Duchess, Michael Mendoza, Sugar Bomb, DJ McNerdette, who just wanted to let us know that they would not be here. Uh, they just came by to let us know they wouldn't be able to come by. Brandizi, Foshizi, Duchess, what do you want? Cheetah, Red Sea Dale. Evil Little McNug Nugs, Punk Pansy, Kit Cat Meow, who's usually on the uh, on the replay crew, Asbury Brad, who did the uh, the thumbnail for tonight. Duchess was saying, "Let, let again another blow to Duchess." Honest is here, who will be co-hosting Mo Negroes uh, this this Monday, this Monday. Not UTLI, uh, despite your well, recent, fuck, <laughs> despite your recent findings. <laughs> yes. My sister did an ancestry uh, uh, thing, and I am two percent Nigerian, so I am now going to be on the show. No, <laughs> <laughs> Negroes is mine. Uh, it's mine. This is now my program. I am <laughs> all of the Mo Negroes. <laughs> Welcome to most Negroes. It's uh, it's me, Slavcat. Yes, uh, and the, me, the two percenter. And then two percent of the <laughs> uh, uh, Let's see who else. Kahootin. We got voice to voice, some jealous basement dweller, uh, Mr. C. That's Mr. Cunningham from Happy Days. He lived 
uh, right below Fonzi. Tracy Hamill is here. Mandy S75. La Senorita. Dat Damn Doctor. Craig O. Gorilla Spawn. Vexus Girl. The bully. The, the bully of Monkey Mama. Sloth Cat. Uh, Sloth Cat is here. Ricky Spanish. Who said cake? I don't know who said cake. Probably Jesse. Um, probably eight. It was, it was a birthday month. Craig O. Oh, and Ricky Spanish. That's how you're supposed to say it. Freelance, Dom De Lita, Becca, and is that polynomial purebred? Is that it? The Lorne Identity is here, just talking shit in the chat, not paying attention. Lord Tebow wow. Baggins, welcome, Lord Tebow Baggins. And I think that's, uh, I think that, I think that's it. So, um, are you, uh, are you ready to get on with it? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to bully this, this old man. <laughs> Well, there's not going to be any bullying. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, let's just listen and be respectful and hear his points out. Yeah, there's, this is still a bully-free stream. Yeah, I got, uh, but, I got speaking, to hear him out. but speaking of bullying, did you see that uh, that Lorne and Queen of Spade had a dance battle on Facebook? No, I, I did not. I, and, I and, and I, spoiler alert, Lorne won. This is Okay, listen very closely. I have an important announcement. I'm gonna say this one time and one time only. Reborn needs to be brought to justice. I love it. Just like a fever dream. Wow. This whole thing wow. so far has been a fever I dream. I don't know how that got in there. <laughs> it sounds yeah, like wow. I love it. It looked like a press conference with the police was underway there, and and, and something's going on with Reborn. But maybe we'll find oh, about no. that in, in the uh, in the upcoming weeks. But yeah, you yeah, love it. I'm <laughs> <crazy>. <laughs> what if we will. You seem to love it, so all right. Well, let's I get love it. <laughs> let's get let's get. <laughs> Warren Armstrong, he will target you for one sole purpose: himself. Ah, uh, the classic Raptor Bacon intro. Oh, I saw. I've seen a lot of requests for you to say, uh, Lord, "How do you, Lord Namas?" <laughs> yeah, Lord, <laughs> happy Lord Namas. <laughs> uh, Lord, Lord Namas to you and your family. And big shouts I, out to Wine Lover, one of the last true lornographers. I love it. Uh, I love it. Make no mistake, Lorne is self-aware and will gaslight you until your soul is empty. This is a man of no dignity. <laughs> you sound so sweet. I want to fucking leave a fucking 13 year old. You stupid fucking bullshit! Winnie, shut your goddamn motherfucking mouth! What the fuck is wrong with you? You can only blame yourself, but you never do. Well, you can't even fucking use a goddamn bird fight. Boy, the first six months were some of the most abusive months that I've known you. Winnie, fucking stop it! That's one small step for man. Okay, delete your archives and remember. Mrs. Kayla Marie Armstrong. I love you more than anything. Better not re be recording me. Lord Armstrong. There's a name I won't soon forget. Ocod, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Lauren, you've made it to the Big Five O. Sorry, we met previously on a birthday under such, well, unfortunate circumstances. I hope you're enjoying the weak coffee and hanging out with your dogs, chopping wood. Remember, don't walk into another one of my houses or try to behave yourself. And there's something else you need to know. Raptor Bacon and I would like to wish you a very happy... Oh, to white Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> Just think about just think about this. Hanson and and Lorne met initially when he was thirty seven, right? Or when he yes. turned thirty seven. So with this being his fiftieth birthday, that means that it, it's been thirteen years uh, since they met. The same age as Kayla was supposed to be when they met. Yeah, 
yeah, that that must mean something. It's their golden anniversary. It's their golden. It's their golden anniversary. The golden yes, anniversary. Means... Well, my computer's doing some weird shit. Oh Jesus! It's just it's... Lord, it's... stay on this train to narrow, Lauren. I'll be watching. I'll see you soon on the TV and my YouTube channel with new investigations. Please don't be in one again. Please don't be in one again. <laughs> don't be in one again. <laughs> Promise myself I'm not going to be in another one of those. Yeah, I, I told myself I never get caught up in a sting. Mommy, Daddy, I found something. Whoa, Jesus! Is this loud? What's going on? Oh yeah, that that, that so this uh, Raptor Bacon's intro has always blast my eardrums. This is a uh, Lauren Armstrong unreleased Rager guy sleeping over, and the link yeah. is in the uh, description. British family on a yacht cruise stumbled upon site B. And now it's only a matter of time before this lost world is found and pillaged. Hopefully we've kept this island quarantined and contained, but I'm in shock about it. Okay, this. That's how it always starts. But then later there's running and then screaming. What the hell was that? Keep absolutely still. Suspicion is based on movement. Baby! 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 Can you hear me? Take your Bluetooth up. Take your boot to south. Listen to the whistle. <laughs> yeah. Are you still mad at me for having sex? <laughs> That's a good way to start. That's a good start. Yeah. I am extremely pissed off about that shit. <laughs> but I did it. <laughs> The thing is, we're in love with the Jello. Yeah, obviously. You need to keep your hands off other people. Oh. They need to keep their hands off of you. Okay. You need to keep your clothes on. Okay. And uh, as, a, as a, a given rule, you keep saying <laughs> I had sex, but I didn't. You're fucking a guy's leg. I didn't come. I don't even like this. Yeah, that's not, that's not I don't like to even yeah, it doesn't count. you doing that to a guy's leg. That's just, yeah, it's just general humping. Your Honor, these is the facts. No penetration. There was no climax. Uh, you, I, you yes, <laughs> exactly. I'm about to get her, my client off. Unlock the defendant. See? See, I mean, like, it just, yeah, no, it basically You, you could easily itself. defend this person. Yeah. <laughs> it writes itself. Why you should like? Oh, I, my leg, fine. Some other, some other guy? No, no. You already know how pissed off and jealous I am. So it's obvious. That you know, you know, I don't like that. I didn't fuck anybody. I never do. I just go. Be fat, Party and the shit that you didn't tell me before. I told you last night with Eric, and you told me you were gonna kill him. You forgot. Is Eric me? Is Eric me? Hell no, Eric's popular and sexy, but still fat and hairy though. So I could see how you could get confused. Are you in love with her? No. Are you, are you in love with me? No. Yes. Yeah, what would you let, let Eric even touch your fucking tips? He sucked on him. Uh, it's Eric again, I see. Yep. Why would you let him even touch him? Because I haven't had sex in a long time. And I haven't had good sex so in a long time. 
you threw me out. What? Hello? 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 Why did you let someone suck your tits? Because I haven't had good sex yeah. in a long time. And he's like, you're three months away from it. Like implying that she's three months away from good sex with him, which is not true. She's three months away from just sex. It would be horrifying, yeah. but it's technically yeah. sex. But, but the way he's will, just so like blase about it, you're three months away from getting sex. Like, just wait, stop yeah. fucking other people and just wait. Okay. Just hold on five Come minutes on. without fucking please. No, without you humping just, someone's uh, leg. Can you keep your vagina in your skirt for two fucking minutes until you get here? Then I'll blast this is his it best like relationship. It is. <laughs> this, according to him, is his best relationship. Yeah. I'll never forget that. Hello. We cared about each other. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. You're three months away from Oi. having sex. Oi. I am having sex. I mean, I'm not having sex. But I am in three months. Yeah, well... Why would you fuck things up with us now? Hello? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Can you fucking His hear me? Sounds no, get a phone that works. <laughs> fucking headset. Go get a landline. Fuck, yep. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can I please send you some beer to be delivered to your house? <laughs> some what? Beer to deliver to your house. You can if you want to. I'll bring it over to Tony, though. Eric said that um, he was very sorry about last night, and he ordered a beer to be sent to the house. No, why does Eric know my fucking address? That nice? No, he told me that <laughs> he gave me the money and his credit card to send her to say he's sorry. <laughs> Yeah, well, don't care how fucking sorry he is. I don't want him around you or, or any of the other guys except Sebastian, unless you did something that was been Sebastian. Sam Adams. She forgot a towel. <laughs> I'm naked, I'm naked, I'm naked. Don't look. <laughs> Don't look. Why would yeah, you get mad about it? Is the best way to get no one's attention. She specifically told them not to look. She didn't say, "I'm naked. I'm naked. I'm naked." Who wants to come tag this ass? She said, "I'm naked. I'm yeah, naked. I'm she, naked." She That's would say that if she meant it. If she meant it, right? She said, "I'm naked. I'm naked. I'm naked." Don't look. I uh, yeah. I would turn my. I would turn 180 degrees. I would turn all the way around. Just <laughs> just around. Say. All right. Yeah. I'm naked. I'm naked. I'm naked. Yeah, Here's my cash app. <laughs> Why would he? In, oh, oh. Yeah, good question. Why would you in the shower with the uh, Because I forgot to get one on my way in, moron. Sorry, I had to walk out to get one. Nobody saw it except for Dion. And you don't like him anyway, and here's a white girl. This is Baby, listen. You better stop your fucking teasing me about all the goddamn guys. I'm, I'm not. Nobody could there. see. I just said he was here. I thought that any other fucking guys that are there should not be there. Did you say something, TLI? I said it's just Dan. It's just Dan. Dan's seen her naked a thousand times. She, didn't she put Dan's penis in her mouth, or, or was that? Pretty, pretty sure. Pretty sure she sucked him off while he was asleep. Yeah, okay, so I mean, like. Yeah, she, the the penis has already been. They, Lauren, that's that's a grand slam, friend. Uh, you're yeah, worried about you're worried about other. base hits. <laughs> yeah, right, you're worried about getting hit round in first base. And she's already <laughs> she's already hit home. You guys, you guys she's are down by you guys are down by 15 runs, and, and and you're 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 trying to bunt. No, Lauren, <laughs> stop. I didn't cheat on you. See. Yeah. Oh, yeah, last, you just cheated on me. Oh, last night you could say I cheated on you, but I didn't. You let her know you guys suck it on your tits and touch your tits. That's true. Yeah, you cheated on she's, me. She's an adorable person. What are you talking about? Of course. 
said that. Yeah, you did. You told me you had to check on your pictures. Why do you want I can't hear you. <clears throat> Instead, you told me that you let air. Why are you in the kitchen suck on? I can't hear you. God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. It oh, is a bad day for Lauren's phone. I can not hear me. I got a new phone. This phone is right up to my ear. I know. I know. All my ear. Yeah, yeah, Lord, it's just not. It you, sucks. Go get a new phone so you can get more and more, ups- get more and more upset at your internet girlfriend. Uh, because this wasn't the call that he was expecting. It's, it's, no, yeah, it never is. <laughs> For some it reason, never, he keeps expecting be, it to go well. He, he, he could be in such a good mood, or even where like he's they, they had a fight earlier, but now he's ready to you know he's ready to make hey baby and and he's, he's ready right. to be over it, and then it just always turns so much worse. <laughs> And the thing about Winnie is she always somehow finds a way to reveal the worst piece of information when Lauren's like just about to be in a good mood. He's like just letting out his first giggle. And then she's like, I fucked him last night. Like the guard touched my breast. You know, it's a surprise. Someone came on my you face last too happy. night. You know, yeah, someone came, like, what? What? Why? I had a weird night. I was sleeping and someone came on my face. Who came on your face? Why? Winnie? Oh, I don't know. I had five guys sleeping on my floor. Why the fuck? Would... And then that's it. Yeah. The microphone's right at my mouth. I know. But you. What's what's going on, Cornville Three Way? Thank you. Uh, thanks for joining us, and thanks for joining us on Monegro's Monday night. Cover it with I'm your chin or something. Yeah. Wait, what? Hold um, on. I'm not covering it with anything now. What? Hold I on. said last night you told me that he probably sucked on my tits, and I said, "Hold what? on, Cornville gets to be on this show." Hold on. What did he do? Have you met Cornville Three Way? No. Well, I, I I've heard his voice. He's the blackest man in Brisbane. Well, I had no idea. Uh, congratulations, Three Way. Yeah, he got his uh, DNA. It was four percent Nigerian. So, oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. I didn't realize that. We, so the cutoff is four. You didn't tell me yeah. that. Yeah, the cutoff was four <laughs> percent. Try again. <laughs> try again. Maybe you'll get a different result right, this time. <laughs> but it also turns out that that I am more Italian than I thought. So that that whole accent thing might might track. The, your mom, my mama. Hey, mom, it's a me, Atilia. She's like, oh, he's like, <laughs> um. What about what about uh Portuguese? I uh, no Portuguese at all, so I don't have wow. that uh, that Latino uh, asshole or whatever Jordan was bragging about. Is, is a tight Latino him. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. He never said. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> he never said I have a tight Latino asshole. Yeah. Why? Would, why, why I have blue eyes and a tight ass. Yeah. He said. He said. Lauren's what butt. Is, That's not what he said. He That's never said I was. I saw the video. He said I have a tight Latino asshole. Um. <laughs> I promise. I saw the video. That's not what he, he said. Lauren's butt is flat. Mine is round and Latino. Yes, he said different... mine is tight. And <laughs> my butthole is Latin. Yeah, yeah right. We all saw the video. <laughs> That's not... We all saw the videos. Damn your revisionist history. We all watched it. And I told you you didn't. <laughs> Well, you told me this morning that, that he did. No, I did, and I said he did not. He did not suck my tits. So what did he do? Nothing. He around. Uh, are you sure? Or are you just going to tell me that? All I did was lick my pussy. <laughs> through my panties. <laughs> And I had my panties on. I got myself freezer. Oh shit! And, and you, you let another guy lick your fucking pussy. Do her no, I didn't. If anything, he was just licking panties. Right. It just, just happened to be over a vagina. Yeah, there's still cloth there. There's still cloth. He was licking cloth. That's all he was licking. Some saliva seeped through, but it's it doesn't count as tongue on vagina. It's not. It was, there was a barrier. There was a barrier in between us. She yeah. has them on a technicality. Gotcha. Sorry, asshole. <laughs> Not cheating. Listen, don't do shit to get me fucking wound up. Just <laughs> me off more. 
<laughs> I didn't cheat. Eric's not even a real guy. It was Sebastian doing his voice, stupid. You get drunk and you start believing your own lies, so I make it real for you. Yeah, but anything that you say, I, I trust and believe because it's coming from you and because you're my woman. And uh, I don't figure that you're going to lie to me. So, it's hey, Kevin Levine uh, against me in a court of law. That actually does not happen. She is just taking a bath and going about her day, and it just it's it's just on the phone. Oh, yeah. with fuck with Lauren. I'm just gonna re- I'm gonna I'm gonna get in the bath and fuck up Lauren's day. <laughs> like that's that's all this is. <laughs> I'm gonna go about mine and make sure he can't go about his. Yeah, uh, you know, like Lauren's off. If Lauren's off for the day and he's feeling good about himself, well, how can I make Lauren miserable? Uh, oh, yeah. I know. I mean, like as dangerous as it is, some of my favorite calls are the ones where she's like keeping him up late at night. <laughs> <laughs> drive truck the next morning. Like, you know, well, I got honey, play- honey. I gotta go to sleep. She's like, I know, but I'm so sad. Uh, you guys stay up with me all night. <laughs> honey, get- you- honey, I don't want to kill anybody. <laughs> Please. She needs them. Don't tell me that it happened. Uh, tell me only uh, real uh, shit. Uh, 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 the shower feels just like Eric. Uh, wow. uh, oh no! Don't fit your my thought. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. Can you send me a picture? Wow. We'll see. Yeah, I'll figure it right now. He is. He turns on a dime. What is wrong with his mind? Are you angry or are you horny? He was. He just. He just wanted her to. He just wanted a little fire. Now that that's over, they can put it behind him, and she can. She can send him pictures of her shower vagina, bath vagina. He must not have heard her say the shower head feels like Eric. She no, he must he not have heard that part. Yeah, he must have missed that. Yeah, but she, but she have to, she's gonna have to repeat that if she wants him to hear that. Yeah. Uh, I can fu- I can fucking figure out what's going on with my headset because it wasn't tired yesterday. So I can figure out what's going on with it. You hear me, baby? God, my pussy's fucking disgusting. I'm not showing it to anybody. Yeah, you, know, you show me. You show me, baby. Okay, I took it. That's my pussy, too. Wow. Hey, send it to me, please. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. It's my pussy, too. No, it's not oh, disgusting. It's my pussy, too. So she Black had sex buddy. with another guy, and the guy wore a condom. Would he be more upset or less upset because Lauren said sex feels better with the condom? <sighs> I don't. I think he so probably she's like because he's like, oh, he's, he's like, feeling good. Oh, you made sure he felt extra fucking good with that fucking condom on. Couldn't do it, raw daddy. Couldn't have him fucking bend you over, just pull out and blast all over your back. No fucking way. Had to use a fucking condom. Yeah, I think that's. <laughs> I think that's <laughs> that what he, it would he would be that pissed. <laughs> yeah. So, so we'll call it disgusting. That's that's. We'll see, I'm going to be eating for us. My life. Oh, my God. No, you're not. I'm going to eat this fucking jagged mess. It's not going to be eaten by anybody. <laughs> jagged it's mess? Close for shit. Yeah, that's quite a description. I, I am going to eat it. Okay. There you go. So quick to forget that she just had sex with someone else. Yeah. He's fine. She's cleaning it out right now. What? Oh, that's true. Yeah. I know that's a good point. I know you love me. He's only pissed while the cum is still inside of her. Yeah, if the if, if it's still inside of her, then he's mad. But once it's out and it's cleaned out, then it's yeah. fine. It's, good. it's like it never Whatever. happened. It's like no washing no your car after after drive doing some mud in. You know, the mud's gone now. Right. <laughs> yeah. May as well not have mudded at all. Stop. Baby, I love you. What were all those noises? It's just uh, oh, Emma getting ready for a day or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Something disgusting. Uh, we get to say the kitty litter. I need this. I need to kill you. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> I want to. I need to. I can't hear you, stupid. I said, "What you need to do is come give me a bull job." Oh no! no. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I sent you a picture. Has that ever worked, Lauren? I don't I don't really, yeah. I'm gonna fucking shove that fucking phone up your fucking goddamn loose asshole. <laughs> if you keep talking and I can't hear you again. Fresh off the turnip truck. Um, I I don't. The name looks familiar, but listen, this is a bully-free stream. This comment: If a guy comes and her Lauren's running over with Lysol, I think that's a bully comment. Mm. Is that a bully yeah, comment? That seems uh, unkind. Yeah, because yeah, he would probably that, Lysol that, the, the tone. Her. Yeah, the and, yeah, he would lie, saw her, and Fabrice her because he would want. All yeah, that of it, that's that's kind of so, fucked. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe Fresh off the bully truck. truck. Yeah. Oh, nice. Remember yeah. that one uh, for next time. Fresh off the fresh off the turnip truck. You get you do get called out for bullying here. Sorry, I'm still laying down. I'm tired. Oh, baby. <laughs> what? I love you. Hi, pretty little girl. What the fuck? Oh, biscuit talk. <laughs> Coming in no, hot. I no, if I go to Tony, it's only, it's only so I can get mom's uh, vacuum cleaner and bring it over to her. Why? Uh, I probably won't go to. I probably won't go to Tony's. Are you I probably won't do that till tomorrow. Huh? How are you gonna get your van? Well, Tony, they already brought it over. They're stupid. <laughs> well, they were quick about it. They should have made your fat ass walk. Well, they didn't want a pedophile van in their front yard. Baby, we you stop saying that shit? Sorry. You know, I hate that. that. Even if you're not a pedophile, the pedophile van. It's even worse that you chose the high one. That is an excellent point. Even yeah. if you're not a pedophile, it's a pedophile van. It makes it even worse when you're a pedophile and you own a pedophile van. Right. The pedophile, the, the van is inherently pedophile. Exactly. And yeah, if an actual pedophile like Lauren owns one, it just doubles it. You know, it's it, like that yeah, one, that one dude who, who got busted on TCAP, who Paul Westwood, who was literally yeah. living in his sister's basement. Yes. And oh yes, he, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was literally, literally living in his sister's basement, and he called his gross. He called them special chats, and on, in his phone call, he couldn't even remember the decoy. I think only pedophiles talked, would call it that. Their special chats, but he had been talking yeah. with an, or spicy noodles. Oh, uh, but he, <laughs> he had been he had been talking with another with another child, so he was he couldn't even he like mixed her up with another decoy. Either or it could have been a real person though, for all you fucking know. But yeah, that. Yeah. It's yeah, easy like, to get mixed up when you're talking to when you're trying to seduce multiple children. Things can get a little hectic. Moving back and living in your sister's basement when you're this unemployed weirdo who looks like that, people are already going to assume you're a pedophile. Don't prove them right. Yeah, don't being, actually be a pedophile. <laughs> by being a pedophile, go against your urges. Don't be that stereotype. I just yeah, want you to know. Nineteen that proves the rule. Nineteen percent of people who buy this van are pedophiles. <laughs> so yeah. just keep that in mind. Y'all take it. Absolutely, because yeah, like surprise, I'm, I'm in that 19 percent, baby. I'm not. I'm not pedophile. Well, that means goodness. I don't have pedophile in. Wow, See? what what is what we doing? No, I'm not. Well, legally, okay. You know that I'm not. I'm sorry. You know that I'm not. My boyfriend's Lauren Armstrong. I meant to be talking to him. Well, you are talking to me. No, I'm but not a pedophile. Well, yeah, I saw I know that. It must be the wrong one. No, it's the right one. <laughs> you already know I'm not a pedophile. You so already you know. Because it's true, and I love you, and you're stupid and ugly. And I cheated on the last night, and you don't remember. <laughs> it's not funny when you cheat on me. Yeah, it is because you don't know about it. If I if I ever do find out that you cheat on me, we are gonna have some major problems. We already had a major yeah. problem last night. You called me a. Wouldn't that just be like, hey, if you cheat on me, we're done? 
if and he didn't even say if you if I ever find out, you go do your shit, but you better hide it. You better hide it yeah. well enough that I don't find out about it two thousand miles away when I have very limited access to anything or anyone because of my previous arrest for trying to have sex with a child. Go do your right. go do your dirt. Go get banged well, on. The only way he finds out if is if she explicitly tells him, which, <laughs> that's, she, that's which she seems more than happy to do. Or if Will lets it slip with his fucking loose yeah. lips. <laughs> Which is which is crazy that she always seems more than happy to let him know that she slept with someone else. It's almost as though she's looking for a reaction. I wonder I just, if he'll I love pick the, up on that. I love the gaslighting though because she'll tell him it's his fault because he said something like, "Well, we're we're not going to be together anymore." So of course she's just going to go out and fuck right then. Don't right. tell your don't tell your nymphomaniac girlfriend who's going around banging people all the time that you're broken up if you don't want her to hang up that phone and go bang. Yeah, that, that, that's that's just a bad move. You're asking for it. And with the condom, because she wanted to feel extra good. <laughs> extra good for the guy. You flip the you flip the ribbing part on the around you. You flip it inside out. And it's you wanted them to pleasure. fucking you yeah. wanted it to be fucking ripped for their fucking pleasure. Yeah, it's ripped for his pleasure all of a sudden. Bitch, oh, a fucking special. And a whore bag. A cut. Um, what did you call me? Ugly. What did you call me? Ugly. Yeah. Yeah. Ugly. And- a pedophile yeah. and an ugly and pedophile. An ugly pedophile. And an ugly pedophile. And an ugly pedophile. And a, ugly pedophile. And a soft cocked ugly pedophile with a gorilla mom. That, that's something that really Oops. pisses me off. You know I know. Know. Don't do that. Yeah, I, she says, I, I know. No, it's fine. <laughs> Your mom's she gorilla. She's your future mom. Ooh, 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 ooh. She's <laughs> Baby, come on. She's your future mom while she's making monkey noises. Like actively making gorilla noises in his ear. She, I, I can't believe, like, <laughs> how, how, why would you tolerate this? Why? Hey, honey, I'm really excited for you to meet your mom. You mean your mom, the Your mom's a gorilla. gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Mom, mom, I swear she's never like this. <laughs> she only she's just future mom. She don't say something <laughs> bad about her. <laughs> Okay. She always used to say it with her friends and on the phone, but she's never done it in your face before, obviously. So I'm shocked that she would. <laughs> Stop throwing bananas at her. That's that's taking it too far. Bye. Come on, she's 79 years old. <laughs> no, don't tell me bye either. Stay right here and suck my talk. Wow. Shut up. I bet she didn't tell no. the guy shut up last night. I love you, so I can't. Oh, I can't wait for you to be here. It's fucking God. I I could fuck you all day today. So much love. Fuck you all day. Eat your pussy all day. God, why does it sound like like a serial killer (laughs) whispering (laughs) to to a phone when he says that? It's It's, so scary. It sounds I just like you pick, fuck you all day. You pick up your phone at 3 a.m. It's an unknown number, and you answer. You go hello, and they go. I just want to eat your pussy. Oh, yeah, exactly. That, it's it's like the last thing you hear before someone breaks into your house. And then you're like, hello, who is this? I've got about six pallets of dry fiber wood in my trunk, and I'm going to be doing some. Well, I got Roy. Roy's here. You're like, oh my god, oh my god, I don't know what oh you guys is so boring. He's so what? boring. Yeah. Oh my god, please, please go please back to the please go back to the girl sex talk. Oh, then I'm gonna touch all your clits with my ten fingers. Oh god, this is worse. Please talk about Roy again. <laughs> oh yeah, wow. there you go. <laughs> Sorry, baby, I had to spit and get out of me. Pure sex. <laughs> You don't, you don't mind if I go pee, do you? No, go pee. Is your sister still mad about you coming up, moving out here with me? Yeah, but I'm not going to. You're not going to what? Monkey You're going to move here with me. Monkey do. No, I'm not. I can't. You know that. You are. No, you know that I can't. Oh, I heard that's not true. Did you hear that's not true? What's up? That what's not true? That he could move. 
he just needs well, to I mean, he, he could conceivably move like he needs permission like they would yeah. need to switch over the probation yeah, but, like he, he could move he wanted to yeah like if wouldn't, it was, if he wouldn't had a reason you, if you were lorne don't you have the biggest fucking reason to leave you're a pedophile in a small town that you grew up in no, yeah, he has all all the reason in the world to like not want to be there where everybody the knows him for being in, the pedophile in the train. Yeah, you're you're not the guy who brought home the Little League World Series in, in <laughs> right. No, and, he's the and guy put who was Cornville on, on the map. You're the guy who put Cornville on the map, uh, literally on on Google on Google Earth that says the Church of Cod is at your trailer. Yeah, sorry, and and when people try and join the Facebook page, they tell them no because they don't want them obsessing over a pedophile. You're that per- they hate you in Cornville. <laughs> Yeah, no, he he should leave. But where's he gonna go? And also, he doesn't he doesn't want to leave mom. M- mom can't wait for him to go. Oh my god! Well, yeah, no, she, of course. But he doesn't. He doesn't. He, I mean, he could never accept that. You would you would think with all with all these catfish that he would be he would be really pushing it that like, hey, I want to get out there. How soon can I get out there? Let's make this happen. It's never that he always wants him to come to this shithole trailer and try to hype up Maine, where he should be trying to get anywhere as far away from there as he can. <laughs> big handsome baby and silly pretty little girl who babies want some breakfast what what honey Dan's here uh-oh. uh oh Dan's here uh oh why is Dan, Dan there so much threesome I don't know why don't you ask when he's done eating her pussy well, he's not spending time with Emma she's fat Wow. Nobody wants you. Fair. Come <laughs> on, oh, baby. We can cut it out. She's fat. She's your best friend. She'll knock it all. Oh, my God. I'm talking decent about her. Treat her, treat her like a best friend. Sucks that I don't have Roy fucking help me do shit anymore. Now it's going to take me longer to do it. Too bad. You don't have anybody to use. Sorry. Hey, Guru's here. And uh, Guru, Guru, welcome to the stream. DJ Payne 1, thank you. Welcome to the stream. I don't know if uh, if you notice if you if you scroll through the chat you'll see that there was some trouble earlier, uh, but now that you're here, I do want to remind you. I do want to remind you uh, the hype up the hype. Why we do this? Why your my, why my moderators need to step it up for the second half of the stream? You were the wrench moderator. That's what the wrenches mean, right? Moderator wrench moderator wrench moderator. You showed me right there that you were the wrench. Moderator, but guess what? That's right. Now we're banned in Russia. Sorry, Moscow. Maybe next oh, time. Oh shit. Maybe next time. Uh, maybe when my when my audience behaves, I won't have to play that, and uh, and Moscow can enjoy can en- can enjoy this show, whatever this show is called. Uh, so let's get back Russian, to the. We had a big Russian audience too. Which Huge. Oh my out. god, yeah. they they loved us in that town. In that town, in the town of Russia. <laughs> The city of Russia, city of dreams. Like I just, I just like, all I can think of was Moscow. I mean, that's a that's a city that would work. You could, you could say Moscow. Again. I already said Moscow, so like, you know, I wanted to say hey. something else. All I could think of was, was that town, yeah, the other the town, city of Russia, <laughs> the city of Russia. Bright lights, big dream. Yeah, that's city of me. angels, baby. That's me, Igor. You can make it there. You can make it anywhere. <laughs> I'm Igor, <laughs> and I'm gonna make it. <laughs> 40 seconds to read. No, no, no. <laughs> da 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 I use him because I help him do shit too. But it makes it easier for both of us to do shit. You can get shit done when to do shit? we help each other. No. I'm not do shit. No. Hell. To do shit. Do things. I bought hot wax. I'm gonna wax my pussy for the next party. No, no. Baby, Lord. I'm telling you. Lord. You better Baby. keep your fucking pussy covered. <laughs> you, least, you, know, you keep fucking guys away from you. I am, but I'm not going to. Gonna... If you have to say that to the person you're dating, you should not. You, should, you just gotta stop. Keep your fucking <laughs> pussy covered. Come keep on, your man. pussy covered. Listen, before you go out, I it's look at me, please pay attention. Keep your pussy covered tonight, please. I don't want to repeat a last time. I shouldn't have to remind you. But 
if I find out that you are cheating on me, we're going to be done. You already know that. But I cheated on you last night. I told you you about it. You didn't care. Yeah, I did care. But I didn't cheat on you. But no, well, that's what I'm saying. Is you, you, you just fucking lying to me, bullshit. Stop doing it. Because it's not funny at all. I sent, you, I sent you. I sent you. What it is? I sent you a picture. Did you like it? You big drunk pedophile. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't gotten it yet. I haven't gotten it yet. Do you want anything special today? You. Good. Yeah, you pussy. Shut up! Don't say shit like that, you pig. Do you want some donut? I want your pussy. Shut up. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> You're not getting that ever. I am. Not from me. Maybe from like a three-year-old who can't wait. Yeah, I am. I hate you. You're a pedophile. You fucking I love you. pig. You stop it. Said shit. Pig stop shit. It. In front of the kid, you pig. Stop it. I hate you. You guys don't even need to knock the fucking bullshit off. I'm talking to Eric. Jesus Christ. All right, finally I'm here. Why is Eric there? He's not. Hello? You're talking to Eric. Hello? Eric? Hello? Hello? Hi. No, he want to be on the phone. Player. He wants to be like the Eric? only person that she's talking to in her real life. Like, well, yeah, he, he wants her to be walking around like a jackass, like he does, only like talking into his ear all day. Why would you need to talk to anyone else? Why are you talking to someone? Yeah, I guess. I guess that's a good point. All right, she's got him. Yeah, yeah, that's that's your fucking boyfriend. They should be trying to figure out their relationship. Yes. Uh, Why are you talking to anybody else when we we have we, shit to figure out? Got shit I was drunk last night. I said bad stuff. We got to talk through it. I said bad stuff. You wouldn't fuck someone. Obviously, we have some things yeah. that we need to work. <laughs> yeah, we got some things to talk about. You had we sex got last things, night, and we're engaged. How are we going to get married? Imagine telling our grandkids about the night that that I got drunk and you wouldn't let some guy eat your pussy through your panties. Right. And then I forced phone sex while you were in the shower. Is that a story you want to tell, little Malcolm Armstrong? Malcolm. That's a strong name. I dare it. Never mind. I don't fucking do it. Whatever. Something's wrong with your phone because I can't hear you most of the time. Well, I don't know what the hell could be wrong with it. Get it right on my head. You got? I got you on my head. No, yeah, well, I want you on my head. If you get on my head, you can go up and down. Oh, he's talking about his dick. Got yeah. it. Yeah. It's wordplay. I know you love me. I love you too. Oh, it's Dan. What are you calling Dan for? I'm not calling Dan. I, I didn't. I lost Dan's number. I never gave it to me yesterday. I had to write it down. What? What? What, baby? What, baby? Do you remember what you did last night? No, what to do? No, pretty girl. You okay, honey? You called Dan. And you told him about about cheating. Of course we well, it's not really cheating, but you told him about having sex with other people. I told him what? You told Emma about Dan going to the clubs and having sex with other people. No, I did not. Yes, you did. Why did you rat him out? I do I do miss the times when Lauren got so drunk that he could be gassed into, into thinking he said stuff he didn't say. Oh yeah. That that's always fun. Yeah. That that's my favorite part of trolling is the, is when you get to gaslight. Is the gaslighting? Yeah. Yeah, you get to gaslight them and the things that oh yeah. like like with Jesse with the picture that she hated and I convinced her that yeah, sounds very satisfying. she sent me the picture. It's it's just fun. I to me it's the best but it's the it's the most fun part. We all talked on the phone together and you made a stupid rule that whenever all four of us get on the phone that Emma has to record so you can hear it back later <laughs> and make sure it's not Xavier. You don't remember oh, any of that? Oh. Nope, let's call Emma so I can hear the recording back. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, hold on. 
Well, she said she wasn't going to record you because she thought you were tricking her. And then Dan said, I'll record. So who recorded? I don't remember if anybody did. Just because you fucking demanded it doesn't mean that they did it because they're not morons. No. I don't know. <laughs> Not a doofy. Not a big game from the Come on, doofy. I mean, he said? <laughs> no? Okay, fine. His, his desperate attack sounds you know. endearing. I know you know. I mean, he, but he even went immediately with it at, uh, at Kayla. Like, the dogs have always been. No, yeah, that's would, his would, move. It's his only move. It's the the only yeah, reason he has dogs is to seem relatable and, like, you know, non threatening. Because if it was just a guy alone in his trailer, that's like. That's like horror movie stuff. But if he's got a couple yeah. of dogs, then maybe there's a chance he might not like kill you he, and leave you in this in this because he can care for something. And he and he talks about how he spoils. Right. If he was allowed, like if if he was allowed to and, and lived in a different area, he would take his dogs to the dog park, hoping to pick up on on a woman. Oh, for sure. But like, where are the you know where are the where are the chickens, Lauren? Where are the chickens? He ate, he ate the chickens. Yeah, they were delicious. Did he? Did he eat the chickens? <laughs> I don't know. No, I didn't. I think he said he gave, he found someone who like something? yeah, I don't know could take care of chickens and he. he I thought someone I, died. I think I think Roy got into the chicken coop drunk and ate several of the chickens mm, raw. Right, and that's when Lauren decided he needed to get rid of them. The Roy, you're out here fucking them. eating the goddamn chickens raw, and Roy's just passed out. Oh uh, yeah, 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 and blood. yeah, like twelve cans of Natty Daddy around and once, him and then just once chicken that feathers happens, <laughs> once that happens you get rid of the other chickens it's just the respectful right yeah responsible thing to do because you know the next time roy gets drunk that's you know that's the rest of the chickens that's gone. the rest of the chicken and the other chickens have to see that those chickens and it's a whole day drunk. of indigestion for roy like he gets <laughs> and, drunk and he eats like a whole bunch of raw chickens and then it's just you know and you're giving you know, that guy undercooked meat or poultry yeah you're giving him alka seltzers and, and warm beer to to soothe his tummy yeah, he, he's, he's taking heated up his life. Heated up in the microwave. Mm. You need yeah, something? Yeah. Talking to Eric? Did you just wake up? Uh, I'm talking to Lauren. That's cool. It is? Yeah. Tell him he's stupid. No. Are you okay? Yeah. What's wrong? Tell Lauren he's stupid What's and bald. What's wrong, Eric? You're stupid and bald. I see. <laughs> you're gay. Ah, uh, got him. He said you're gay. Stupid and bald. Why is Eric so over the hell? What? Because he's in my bedroom right now. I let him oh. sleep in here last night. Oh, fuck. Oh, would you? Isn't that a fucking peachy fucking thing going on there. Did you sleep with me, Eric? No, I slept on the floor, you idiot. So there. What? Why are you mad? Why the fuck's that cocksucker in your fucking bedroom? He fell asleep on the floor. <laughs> Why is he in your bedroom? He fell asleep on the floor. I think you're fucking cheating on me is what I think you're doing. Eric, are we cheating? No, I slept on the floor. I got too fucked up and I crashed on the floor. <laughs> I know. Why is he being that? Did you get hit the floor in the fucking living room? What the fuck are you doing in the bedroom? They're... I crashed out here first. Why? Oh, sorry, jackass. It's a fucking bedroom. Show the boyfriend. Uh, Lauren, Lauren does not like this. this is, I, I like this part. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is, this is very good. Anytime good. someone gets to sleep, and, he, and he's just now finding out about it. Now, he... As far as he knew, she got her she got her pussy licked through her through her through her panties last night, right? Right. Or well, I mean, also by sex. him. Yeah, right. So, so that he was still talking about coming over and sucking my penis and everything else. He was willing to let that go, but he's so mad that she slept on the floor of his room. How was that? I worse? think he forgot maybe about the f- first part of the conversation. But she kept mentioning really it over and over again. Yeah, but he's like so stupid, you know. That's true. Yeah, like really dumb. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that. Part. Right, right. Hey, you were in her fucking bedroom. I let him in. But I was sleeping on the floor. I wasn't on the bed with her. Could you hear me fighting all night? I was out. <laughs> Did you feel when I farted on your shoulder? No. <laughs> Are you ever nice? And then I see fucking ass and pushes over to another guy's head. Are you ever nice to your girlfriend? <laughs> All you do is whine. Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Know, 
Get the fuck out, bitch. I am. I'm leaving today. Labor Day weekend's almost over. Yeah, leave. Yeah. No, no, I'm My girlfriend talks to you, dumbass. Get the fuck out of here. Well, stop being so mean to her. Stupid <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Hates that, too. Fuck. Not that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that stupid. Why? Did you have sex with my girlfriend last night? No. Greg slept on the floor. I got high and I crashed out. What don't you understand about that? He always makes things up in his head. <laughs> Hi. The fuck is the only guy doing your goddamn bedroom? Asleep. Now he's awake. He can't sleep outside on the fucking floor in the living room. Are you fucking kidding me? We were watching a movie in here, and he fell asleep on the floor. It was backdoor. You were watching a movie in your bedroom. Backdoor yeah. era. Yeah. Isn't that fucking cute? We are watching backdoor Farah. Yo, oh, so I'm, is. I've got to say, the strangest part of my friendship with, with Farah Abraham's mom is the fact that I've <laughs> seen is the fact that I've seen that video. And it's really hard. It's really hard to talk to her without, like, because I, I, like, her mom had something yeah. to do with that, as far as I know. It was, oh, like, instrumental in, in getting it done because it was supposed to help her career. Like, yeah. like it helped I mean, with. I guess it did. Well, yeah, um, they wanted to do, like, you know, the Kardashian thing. And, and all of a sudden she's real popular. But it didn't, it didn't work out that way. So it was supposed to, the whole idea, it was supposed to be a PR thing at first. They were going to pretend that. Yeah. Her and that dude were dating, and then the tape got leaked. But he, as as soon as they made the tape, he went and told people, "Oh yeah, we fucked. For, they paid me to do it. Like, yeah, they wanted me to pretend to be her boyfriend. I told them to fuck off." Interesting. Uh, yeah. So it's just, I don't know. It's just weird. So anyway, we have a video coming out with her in like two weeks. Um, that's the that's she, the, the the lady who raps, right? That's the one I'm thinking. That's of. that's white lady, yes, white woman's right, rap. White we should close with white woman's rap in honor of Black History Month. We could. Um, we should co close with white woman's rap, but uh. She got scammed for two hundred and fifty grand by a dude from Match.com. A black dude. yeah, so that's again, about Happy right. Black History Month. Happy Black History Month, everybody. I forgot, you know, it's still still happening. I don't know who the fuck it is. I don't care. Is that chick who is on Teen Mom, and everybody saw her because she was hot and skinny, and she got big tits and a big ass from a surgeon, and then she used it for sex on a porno. And everybody in the world rejoice, like when Kim Kardashian. Like a porno. No. Be sex involved. What? You gotta be sex involved while you're around. You gotta be sex involved while you're around another guy. It was funny because she was on MTV. It's okay. And nothing okay about another guy sleeping in your fucking bedroom. I was sleeping <laughs> on the floor. It's so hard to sleep. Oh, shut up, man. bitch! I don't even want to fucking hear your boys. You never crashed out of somebody's house and passed out on the floor? I didn't even show him my yeah, pussy. On the fucking living room floor. Did you see my pussy, Eric? Oh. No, Lauren just drives home. See? Yeah. He's allowed Why to are you so worried about your girl? He doesn't pass out on the floor when he drinks. He just drives himself home and sleeps in his bed like an adult. Well, but think about Everyone this. Everyone in danger, yeah. Yeah, like a real man. Think about this. His brother was so adamant against not staying at Lauren's place that he was going to walk 25 miles. Yeah, that's commitment to not wanting to sleep in like, exposed to the elements. How long will it take you to walk 25 miles when you're drunk? Oh, so long. I mean, it would take me the entire night. Right. So like, you're basically you're basically saying, you know what? I would rather walk, walk to work. I would rather walk home all night than just then just find a place to curl up on the floor and sleep in your in your shithole. <laughs> yeah, like, no, it's it's that bad. There must be some horrible growths and critters in there that he just can't bear to sleep next to. He'd rather have his this like drunk odyssey across Cornville. <laughs> you know what? I actually I actually planned on walking the twenty five miles home drunk anyway, so I'm just gonna go. Yeah, that was actually yeah, that was my plan when I went out tonight. <laughs> Like just walk off the that's drunk. Why, that's why I brought my loafers. <laughs> these are yeah. these are my these are my walking loafers. And like yeah, my pair of walking sticks. <laughs> and some khakis. I'm just I'm assuming he was wearing some Dockers when this uh, when this all happened. Well, yeah, yeah, some, he has uh, to be ready to ready for the walk. Some Dockers and some wing and some wingtips to go 25 miles at 2 a.m. through the Cornville wilderness. 
Yeah, it's, anything's better than the shed. <laughs> you got some goddamn guys around you. Do I have pimp- with them? Do I have pimples on my butt so I can take a picture for Lauren? A little bit. Um, now you saw me showing him your ass. No, I was just asking to see if you would start tripping. Why do you insist on stressing me out? Because I love you. Well, love me a different way. Let me know that you're not cheating on me. Molly. Stop it. Somebody's smacking something. (laughs) Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Hi. You're wearing white shoes. It's after Labor Day. You can't wear white shoes today because Hitler made a rule. That's true. After after Labor Day, you can't wear white shoes. Oh, is that where that rule? Comes it's from? Labor Day. It's after me. What was that? Is, is that where that rule comes from? Adolf Hitler. I had no idea. Yeah, Volkswagens, uh, the Autobahn, and the white after Labor Day rule. Yeah, yeah. I, I never understood like. White, I don't really know what that means or what the meaning behind it. Isn't it like always after Labor Day? Is that the point? I don't. I don't think I get it. I've read something about where it all where it all came from. I don't fucking remember, but it, but it doesn't even really apply anymore. There was a, there was a reason for it, like right, like, like the reason, reason why purple the reason why purple used to be a royal color was because whatever they used to make purple is like this super expensive rare beetle that they crushed and make purple dye right so yeah there was a reason why you weren't supposed to wear white it it was like some practical reason for it but i don't i don't Mm. remember it i'm sure it had something to do with um but it definitely doesn't apply here yeah uh it had something to do with with lauren being a pedophile i think right i think that's what it was i'll have to go back to my sources good night have some um just Lauren, you can't wear white shoes after Labor Day, huh? Like <laughs> Lauren would know. Yeah, if you want to. But you can't. It's the rule, right? Remember? Our fear is sad. No. I don't remember. Oh. You don't remember. Hey. What? Eric, last night, remember I was telling you who I love? Yes. Who? This guy named Lauren. See? And did we have sex in any way? None at all. Did I show you a body part? No. Except for my feet when I stepped on the poop to show you it was smeared. Yes, that was it. So, Tila, we have about four minutes left on this call. Did you see uh, Did you see Vex's girl bully Monkey Mama? No, I don't think I have. You haven't seen that. So I don't know if you know this or not. It, it will be covered uh, at some point, but, but Monkey Mama has quit uh, Hollywood. The movie's been canceled. Mm. Uh, Dame Helen Mirren, Morgan Freeman, uh, Chris Rock, they've all been let go from their project. Uh, wow. Peter Jackson. So Monkey Mama's shut- a person. A real person. Monkey Mama. Great. Monkey Mama. Well, Monkey Mama's a, a monkey. They can have okay, feelings. Yeah, gotcha, too. Yeah, yeah. They can have feelings too. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I, you know, I, actually I, let's 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 look at that. This will be covered in more detail, but uh, I wanted you guys to if you haven't seen it yet, here's Vex bullying Monkey Mama into quitting quitting Hollywood. And now, ladies and gentlemen, next on our program with a snappy South American song and dance routine. Dance for us, clown. Dance dance for us, you monkey bitch. You can be the prettiest person, and if you are a shitty fucking person, I'm going to think you stank because I smell your nastiness on you. You know what I mean? And I, you, you reek like Summer's Eve and Dulce and Cabana. Bye, bitch. It just doesn't matter what home you get yourself into. My whole family just took a COVID test and I'm the only one with fucking COVID. Wasn't that wonderful, folks? Let's have a nice hand for the little lady. Uh, that's petty shit, but she brings the petty out of everybody. What do you think of that? That was powerful. <laughs> that's, that's a powerful moment. I love it. TLI. Yeah. That's me. See, Lauren, that was not sexy. <laughs> 
Apologize. I'm afraid and do things to stress me out. Apologize for accusing me of cheating. Because you're constantly yelling. Well, at apologize. Why? Yeah. Listen, I still don't. I still don't want to fucking hear another guy's voice when I'm on the phone with you. Well, this guy's getting ready to go, so. Eric, thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Yeah. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Yes, I am. And if I threw a party and invited everyone I knew, you would see the biggest gift would be from me. Yes. And the card attached would say, I poop out of my rear end. That's not what it would say. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. It might. Oh, you will? You I like there. your white shoes after like... That is not the theme song to Golden Girls. And the card attached sure? to say, I poop out of my rear. I mean, I haven't seen it in a long time. Um, but yeah. And that's actually, that that that's a song. It, it was not made for the Golden Girls. It was an actual song prior to the Golden Girls. And that's your mm-hmm. TV it's trivia for the day. It's for the show. Well, it was a man singing it originally. So it sounds mm, like okay. when you hear the original version, it sounds much different. But that's your uh, that's right. your TV trivia for the day. What do you think? That was definitely no TV you. trivia. No one cares what you think. Labor Day. Yeah, that's a good point. I love it. <laughs> no, not right now. Why? Because I started getting a headache when they get all fucking stressed out. Golden you didn't get a headache over. from that. You did it from having too much alcohols. No, well, I didn't have a headache before, and I've got one now. I just think. Might be it's because you're hungover, baby. Let's uh, fuck now. Did someone say golden gorillas? Because I think that's a bully comment. I don't think that. I don't think go, I don't think golden like gorillas. That yeah, that's a bad. Get, get that out, the guru. Take care of whoever said golden gorillas. <gasps> this ain't Donkey Kong, baby. Over, <laughs> yeah, get that out of life. here, guru. Stressing me out. Mm, I got you hungover. Oh, man. Oh, God. Eric left his shirt. Oh. Of course, he left some piece of clothing behind. <laughs> oh, I smell sleep <laughs> with it. Who wants to sleep with it? I just want to sniff it while I touch my fucking cunt. Oh, wow. That's graphic. Jesus. <laughs> graphic, <laughs> Because your cunt. That doesn't cute. <laughs> But you don't want to do things to stress me out. Yeah. You should really love me. Eh, hey, don't come in. I'm touching it. Sorry. I thought you were supposed to not. <laughs> I did not. Oh. Stop looking. Oops. Yep. Whoopsie. Oh. So my vagina again. <laughs> uh, this time it was an accident, though. So doesn't, again, it doesn't count. Yeah. There's none of these he's counts a, so far. He's he's licked it through panties and he saw it on accident. So those are those two cancel each other out. You're still at zero. I love you. Yeah, well, stop cheating on me. How did I cheat this time? I don't know. You're the one fucking. Hey, stop licking. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't do anything. He was. He came in for his shirt and he took it, and I was laying on it, and I had to move. I love you, and I am pooping in the toilet just for you right now. Thank you. Thank you. Love means pooping in the toilet and not pooping in the bathtub, huh? Yes. Have you ever had to write an essay on love? Make sure it includes pooping in the toilet. That's true. Not outside. I'm talking to Rona. What? Oh, well, why would she have to write an essay on pooping? I say stuff like that, so she gives me a funny look because I'm weird. I try to be a funny mom. You're beautiful. I am beautiful. That's why I'm irresistible. To me, yeah. I know, but not to anybody else with standards. 
Old standards. Mm-hmm. It's funny how you throw them little words now. Bernie Sanders. I right. took a picture of you and I said, oh, wait. I took a picture for you. Yeah, I know. You sent me a black pussy. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Whoa. This is Monkey Mama. I found this. This is called Monkey Mama Facts, and I don't know what it is. I was hoping maybe you could explain it to us. Why? You think I'm racist? I think that's racist. Which means Lord and Bruce. Now, this one is called this one is called Ocean Mermaids. Uh, let's Ocean just Mermaids, watch a few seconds. Just tell me. Yeah. Well, then the other one is about AI. So let's see what you think. Oh, yeah, that sounds too complicated. I don't know what's going on here, but just, you know, let me know. Just tell us, kind of break it down for us. What are you saying? So what was that? I think he was just saying, like, you'd be surprised to know that mermaids are real. Monkey Mama has (laughs) some insight on this motherfucker that it's going to blow this case wide open. Um, Monkey Mama's got Monkey Mama's got receipts. Monkey Mama's got receipts. Hey, there he is. Is Celsius Energy responsible for recent zombie attacks across the UK? According to the company, yes, and they did it on purpose. A company spokesperson had this to say. Hi, I am Lone Identity. God damn I it. I ate my dinner early and took a nap. I drank my Celsius. Now I am full of energy. Now let's start the show. More on this as it unfolds. I'm Paul Philly Flips. Wow, Ow. I'm gonna go on record. I'm gonna go on record as saying my <laughs> least favorite segment is this fucking British guy, the British <laughs> news guy. Now I find it, I find I like that you have a catchphrase though. I drink my Celsius and I'm full of energy. I like that. Well, yeah, the, I think the best catchphrases are ones that are forced upon you by <laughs> yeah, people, yeah, on, yeah. people from fucking Fiverr. That's exactly what I need. <laughs> Um, there's the now again. I know if you guys have been following, you know about some of the things going on with uh with Step Up Body Spray, some of the issues that we're having. I did receive this. I don't think I was supposed to be CC'd on this email, but I feel like they might be replacing us. I feel like we might be getting replaced. Uh, and well, I mean, because the commercial was called Step Up White People, and I just look just check it out and let me know if you feel like this is still serving an urban audience or uh, or if we are in fact being replaced. Step up or step off with Step Up Men's Body Spray, sold only in gas stations. Smells like pork and lamb whenever we're together. Causes birth defects and auto wrecks, expires never. Step up or step off. Yeah, this is more like the Yacht Rock crowd. Yeah, see that didn't that, this is more that like didn't the, the, the Steely Dan listeners kind of that like didn't stepping up right that didn't feel like Ste- I stepping was stepping up uh, the years yeah like I was what did it rule the I used to rule these streets with the iron fist. yeah I used to, yeah this is not ruling streets with an iron yeah this is like I used to I used to rule this surf shop with a okay you like know, you smell like you smell like gentle, surf wax with a gentle eye yes okay so you understand all right so it sounds like we are being replaced all right let's uh yeah no, let's... This, is, this is this is definitely gonna be more white centric <laughs> and it's at gas stations only now what happened to and church I, and i for one can't wait <laughs> i'm gonna start right. the show on my channel mo <laughs> yeah now uh we're gonna move on to to lauren armstrong when he touches another guy Oh, good. This is how I like this one. Funny, what the fuck are you doing? Nobody <laughs> loves me. So I'm just trying to see who might love me. Who are you? Fuck. I didn't fuck. You know, you obviously don't love me. Doesn't some other fucking guy feel your goddamn breast and kiss you on the neck? I didn't tell him to kiss me on the neck. I just put his hand there and said, I'm not. I don't give a goddamn. You don't put his fucking hand on your breast either. What the fuck is wrong with you? First thing I met was a fly with the bones and the sky with no cloud. The heat was hot and the ground was dry, but the air was full of sound. 
A mãe é mesmo Se for de lá e me diz Estou a mexer de ajuda Você pode dizer a sua girlfriend Que você pode vir aqui e roubar o meu food Eu disse, olha, as bichas me alvo Que eu estou pegando o food de você Matt, você disse isso? Sim Ela disse, ela disse, ela disse Eu disse, sim Eu disse, sim I said, and most of the time, I don't even take it from you. You give it to me. You don't even asking for it. So you just need to tell her no. Let your mom keep her food, you goddamn bastard. Yeah, well, even when I tell her no, she still says, no, I don't want it. I don't want to eat that much food. <sighs> I saw Dan naked once. Well, I, I've heard. Today, I mean, just once. <laughs> Why? Because they put me in the um, wing that has the Wi-Fi until I can get um, the judge to put me on the speakerphone call. And, and I him on Google Earth. In other words, you stalked him. No, I didn't stalk him. All I did was... Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this picture before. This picture of his uh, Nashville apartment. Yeah, I'd never seen this be. before. Like, look, this, look how bare it is. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it in the daylight. Well, I mean, what did you expect? It's not going to be, you know, decor. Uh, Do those those plastic bags on the floor? Those are, those are furniture. That's, that's like part. He of slept it. on those. Yeah, he slept on that. <laughs> are those his pillows? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was plastic on the floor for the mattress and plastic for for pillows. They're gonna conserve body heat. Yeah, he was gonna have sex with a kid on that. You know what I'm saying? He, well, not on the pill. You're not gonna ruin your pillows. He was. No, gonna... he's gonna he's gonna fuck up that trash bag though. <laughs> he's gonna fuck up that trash bag real bad. Get all the trash bag. We're about to make love. I mean, that's what he the... was gonna do. It's like a fucking nightmare. It's like something at a hostel. Did he have a comforter to go on top of them, or or was no? It just, I don't think so. I I, I, I can't imagine more he who would go out of his way to buy a comforter. <laughs> so he was just sleeping on the ground like he was like he was inside camping, like he's yeah, like he was <laughs> like he's a prisoner of war. Yes, this man is. We call it dry camping. It's when you uh, it's when dry you just camping. sleep. It's when you sleep on the floor at your own house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they call that dry camping number in and he was there but there was nothing dry about his camp no, <laughs> no. good lord that, you know that floor is filthy and he didn't own a vacuum cleaner there was no vacuum cleaner in that apartment so it was just hair and and the like the pull the little tabs from the beer cans that's all that was on the floor yeah well since he slept on the floor you could probably just like roll around a bit and, and you know swiffer it up with his body hair take a shower you think now <laughs> Wash it off, and then he, but he the only had the one mop. towel. The, the problem is he only had the one towel. And he had to shove it under ah, the door so the people next door right. wouldn't see that he was there. Then ask him for things. Yeah, there's the towel. Yeah, he'd have to use that to shower as well. <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah. So his neighbors would always know he was showering. <laughs> he must be showering. We'll come back. <laughs> yeah, we'll come back. I like that he told the 13 year old that he was so, such a man. He couldn't tell his neighbor. Tell you, no, I'm not. You guys, stop bothering me. I'm not. This is it. Like, no more handouts. I'm not doing anything with. Oh anymore. yeah, I'm so, like imagine him hold up in his apartment, like just the light of the computer, <laughs> the towel under the door, like he's fucking thirteen. Oh, yeah, because he's a child. He's a, he's a teenager's mind. I, I like, bet he's before, hiding from his mom. Before he would leave the apartment, he would like peek out the peephole to see if they were outside. Then he would open the door real slow because he didn't want to make noise. So they would know he was leaving. It was like he was sneaking right. away every time. Yeah, he doesn't want his mom to know he's staying up that late. <laughs> spying on people. He's not doing anything wrong. He's probably fucking some hot bitches, I want to say. Well, you don't need to see. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. I want him happy, don't I? Whatever. What? You don't want Emma to be getting some hot hawk inside of her? No, it just doesn't make sense why you'd want to stalk someone. I'm not stalking him. I am making him... Yeah, you are. He's my Christmas present after the stalking. No, you're stalking him. This shit's creepy. Hey, we got a, um, a super chat from Punk Pansy. 
Punk Panda right. said, I think, it, I, I think it's so creepy the subtle way Winnie will say, huh? Or adopt a childish cadence and Lauren will respond like an indulgent but horny parent. Yeah, I mean, like, Lauren wants to feel like he's teaching lessons or, like, being, like, he, he wants to have the upper hand to be, like, the smart one in the relationship. And he but at can't the same time, he wants he's dating a little kid or someone with a child's mind. But then he also wants to be mommy. So it's like a, he's got, yeah, in his he mind, both. he wants someone in his mind, he had, a, he, wants a he, had a weird <laughs> he had a weird dichotomy. It's the weird dichotomy. He, uh, he, I can be stupid. Uh, no, like so. Yeah, he he wants he wants someone who is is has no experience and uh, is going to be very subservient. But then he also wants them right. to crack the whip. Also, and, all the experience. Yeah, to crack the whip yeah. and tell him when he's when he's being an asshole, so that he knows you still love him. Yeah, no sexual experience, but a lot of life experience. <laughs> yeah, Th those two. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> We both told you that already. Can you still doing it? He likes it. Shut up. No, he doesn't like it. He dies. He likes knowing that he can walk around his house and know it's just him there, not somebody watching him through a computer. So weird that is. <clears throat> You're an asshole. You totally fucking watch me if you could. No, I wouldn't. Lying asshole. Only if I had your permission to do it at the time. Yeah. Well, Dan knows I can do it, or else he'd put some clothes on her. And thank you for the donation, Punk Panty. Yeah. Well, he probably didn't think that you could do it because you're in the hospital. You know, <laughs> he's mad at me anyway. Who cares? Why is he mad at you? We promised we wouldn't tell you, so there. Well, tell me anyway. No. Well, well, it must be something pretty serious. <laughs> I had a big old fart bubble come out of my tum tum tum. So why is he mad at you? I don't know. Why do you think? Because you showed showed him your pussy and your tits. Yep. Uh, why would he be mad about that? Oh yeah. No. So why would he be mad at you and not want you to tell me? Because I asked him for a kiss right before I die and it's my dying wish. And he said no and I kept asking and he said I'll think about it. And then I changed it to, yes, my love, I would love to do it. And then I sent it to Emma and said, look what your boyfriend did. And so he canceled her. his ticket. Nope. That's a prank right there. That's a prank. Why do you do that stuff? I didn't. You, know, you got punked. That's it. That's all. <laughs> That's it. It's just, it's just the way things are. Lord, it's just good nature ribbing. Like when they caught Ma uh, Malik Washington, just some good natured ribbing uh, from the cast of To Catch a Predator. Now go on about your ways. Move forward. Oh, yeah, Ask go on for about a ride and move on. <laughs> I'll give you. I'll give you a ride, but you're gonna have to wait for me to catch another couple guys in this uh, in this prank scheme. Right in this little TV prank I'm doing. Here. Hey guys, don't do it. It's a prank. Malik, <laughs> roll the window back up. Guys, no run. <laughs> As the window's slowly being rolled up. <laughs> no, no, Chris, I'm ready to go. You need to not be obsessed with him. That that's that's fucked up. I didn't obsess on him. I'm a good girl. You're obsessed with him, and it's fucked up. You're in love with me. What the fuck are you doing being obsessed with another guy? I'm not obsessed with him, but he. Yeah, you are. 
You can do a lot better than that, bitch. Your dying wish is to be kissed by someone else other than me. That's not true. I just said that, man. It's fucked up. You need to stop saying this shit. You're hurting people that you care about. I'm not hurting anybody. <laughs> not that she cares about. Yeah, sorry. It hurts me when you say shit like that. Oh. You obviously well. hurt Dan when you sent that shit to him, huh? Yeah. Who cares? You're she... hurting people that you care about. I don't care about her. You don't care about Dan. Yeah. I don't care about anybody but me. These pictures remind me of the montage from the uh, funeral on Always Sunny when Mac and Charlie faked their death and there was the montage of them with uh, that Bon Jovi song and they were wearing the duster. Oh, yeah. yeah, they, yeah. The duster. <laughs> I'm a cowboy. Like Just mm-hmm. think about that song yeah, right now with these, <laughs> with, these, with these pictures Why? going by. <laughs> Lord needs a duster. I mean, he's a cowboy. Because well, Lorenzo Lamas wore a duster, but Lorenzo Lornamas uh, Lornamas <laughs> could wear could wear a duster shirtless, titless. I mean, that'd be that'd be pretty hot. Surely, in your fucking in your fucking dusted titless. Think about that. Yeah, dust in a duster with tits completely missing. <laughs> titless. You don't care about me. Oh, shut up. God. All right, Tim. Who cares? I do. I care about how people see you. Naked? No. I want people to know that you, that you really are a good person. I'm not. Yeah, you are. Deep down, you are. You do some fucked up shit, but but deep down, you're really a good person. And it comes out when when I poop quite often with me. Oh, I love pooping. I love you. I'm tired of hearing you say that. I don't think you do. Oh, tough. I do. Yeah. So, this is the part of the call. I, I think around here, it's like around the ten minute mark, like Lauren starts getting all like lovey dovey and and trying to bring it back. And this is when she decides to drop the bomb that the guard touched her breast last night. It's the best. He he's not upset enough, and she's like, "Well, I, I guess it's now's the perfect time to ruin his night." Dude, look at this picture of him. Yeah, the two different colored eyes. I I don't think I I, I forgot about that. Well, and then also like the facial hair and and like yeah. and how how uh, his nose. <laughs> yeah, it's, is, it's like Justin Timberlake after he left in sync. What is up with it's his like nose? Senorita era, Justin. <laughs> Senorita, he, look, he looks awful. He looks so bad. Well, yeah, no, he, he looks haggard. But, is you there know, a term? Is there a term? You're aging like a pedophile. Because if not, I think that should be a thing. I think so. Why, yeah. Gene, you're aging like a pedophile. Um, and it should mean that you look like the that you look like shit. Yeah, you're decaying from the inside because of your rotten soul. You're you're aging faster than a main pedophile. <laughs> you must be a terrible person aging like that. <laughs> you must Just have a problem deep inside down inside in your out. heart. You must have a problem in your mind so deep set it'll never come out. Be aging like that. Well, you look like shit. You look like shit. <laughs> Nothing. Mm-hmm. Rye is going to die in jail, huh? No. No, no, you have him confused with Lauren. Yeah. I I, I'm convinced Lauren's dead in his trailer currently after that snowstorm a couple weeks ago. I think you we got to find Lauren's out where dead? he's at. I, I think he's dead, y'all. What's it going to take for you to? Um, it's so you either need firm. You you can go you can go yourself. Yeah, go go up there myself and just like remove the head and bring it back. 
<laughs> Bring him back in a barrel like, like an ancient a, warrior. Like he's yeah. a White Walker on a uh, on Game yeah, of Thrones. Th- th- yeah, th- throw the head across the the throne room floor. <laughs> there's the your job bloody is head. Done. Yes. Yeah. There's, where's there's me, your pedophile? Where's me pay? Yeah. There's your pedophile. Give me my fucking reward. I did what you asked. Wear no me fucking asked, shillings. No one asked you anything. Wear me fucking shillings. <laughs> Don't get mad, okay? But what? I'm dying and I get scared and I don't know what I'm going to be able to enjoy in my life anymore. <clears throat> You'll be able to enjoy time with me, honey. Oh my God. It's the biggest thing me and you have done for the last eight months to spend time together. Um, good night, Kit Cat Meow. Sleep. Wow. Now you now she wants one from uh from you. Hi poop frog. No, no Kit Cat Meow said <laughs> Kit Cat Meow no, Kit Cat Meow would like well, a, a a sleep well from both of us. Can you give Kit Kit Cat Meow? I mean sleep well Kit Cat Meow, but what what's what's good, Poop Frog? I love it. Perfect. None ten much. So I put the guard's hand on my breast last night. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I asked him if it felt nice and he looked left and then right and then he kissed me on the neck and squeezed my breasts. Yeah. And said, I hope you get well soon. And he left off for his shift. Funny, what the, Funny, fuck, what are the fuck are you doing? A good question. Nobody loves me. <laughs> so I'm just trying to see who might love me. Why would you fuck? I didn't fuck. No, you obviously don't love me. Yeah, I do, but I'm scared. I'm at the no, end. No, you don't either. I don't know what to do with myself. Well, let some other fucking guy feel your goddamn breast and kiss you on the neck. I didn't the tell fuck? him to kiss me on the neck. I just put his hand there and said, I'm well, done. I don't give a goddamn fucking rat's ass. You don't put his fucking hand on your breast either. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry for offending you. You don't fucking love me. That's obvious. How does the call go on for 36 more minutes? After your, after he's, your he's trying to bring her back from this. He's gonna he, well, and, he, and he's gonna hold it over her head. She's she's gonna remember this one. Uh, you're gonna get away with it, but he's gonna he's he's, you're, he's not gonna forget about this one. Well, no, like no, it's, yeah, this, this is uh, the rest of the call. I think is just her trying to convince him that this wasn't a big deal. That doesn't sound right. No, it doesn't sound right. <laughs> She fucking I'm scared. Staring through fucking computer, uh, fucking Dan naked, <laughs> stalking him. I you let the fucking guard. You grab the guard's <laughs> hand and put him, put his hand on your fucking breast. Let him kiss you on the neck. Yeah, okay. I didn't tell really him. Really love me. That. He just knew what would, give a fuck. would feel nice. Him, he thought I was you're the one to put him. you in. He just knew what was going on. Put his on your breath. The guard is a generous lover. He thought I was going <laughs> to die, and I told him I'm going to die, and he thought he would give me one last feeling yeah. like somebody loved me. Yeah. The fuck ever. You don't want me to tell you the truth about anything, then I'll hide everything from you. That's what you want. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. I'm sorry. I get off here. I'm going to bed. Don't go to bed. Talk to me. I'm so lonely. Why? You get the fucking guy there. No, I don't. There's a different one. He'll talk to you. 
You talked to your tits and your neck last night, didn't you? <laughs> you didn't talk to them. No. He's, he's he so sure didn't want to talk you up. The tits and the neck thing. It doesn't matter if what he says makes sense. It's just, oh, yeah, you talked to your tits and your neck. Yeah, they were. It, it, that was an intimate moment. He didn't yeah, just had a, had a nice he, chat with him. Yeah, he didn't just get a, a quick squeeze and walk out of the room. He squeezed them and kissed her on the neck like they were yeah. romantic, like they're familiar lovers, and had a full conversation with her neck. Yeah, and and she yeah. wasn't mad about it. There, she, there was no, no like, oh, I was I was drugged or I was tied down. Like he right, did well, it to make her. Nobody loves me. Yeah, well, he was yeah. thinking about her. He was thinking about right, her. Right, right. So it was a very unselfish thing that he did, according to her. <laughs> Don't be mad. You would do it too if you were scared. You don't know it. No, I would not either. I'm coming to you for help. So you're coming to me for help, but you're going to the fucking guy to get the fucking sex favors. Ooh. No, it wasn't a sex favor. It oh, was bullshit. still favors. alive again. Yep. I have so many you know, sex. fucking love me. That's obvious. But I do. No, you don't either. Fucking lying out your ass. Say you love me and have somebody else fill you up. No, it's a sadness inside of my heart. I don't That's know how bullshit. to make. It. I don't know how to make it go away. Bullshit. No, don't. It's not bullshit. Oh, she's so sad. It's bullshit. It's, sad. Lord, it's not. So it's my. Life. She's your goddamn fiance. He doesn't. He doesn't even care. He doesn't care that she, all she wanted was the feel of a strange man's hands on her breast and kissing her neck. To make her yeah, feel better. She, she thinks she could die. She just needs one more time. One more. Feeling like somebody loves me. It, like I just want one more squeeze of the old nips and a yeah. couple uh, and some lips on the neck. What's wrong yeah, with that? on the old neckaroo. <laughs> That's a you know you can you can request a last meal if you're going to get executed last meal or a uh, sexual right. favor. Sexual yeah, favor. Like a, oh, yeah, can a guard grab my breast and kiss? Yeah, me I want. I, I want the get the injection. Right before, I want the I want the guard to gently shake my penis around, <laughs> just shake it around. <laughs> Imagine the guard whose job it is to go into like the serial killer's <laughs> death row cell and just like waggle his dick around for him yeah. while he stands there. Like, I want yeah. him to waggle yeah. around like it's an old school TV antenna, and he's trying to find Fox. That's yeah, what I that, want that, him to that, do. That better be the best paid man in that prison, man or no, woman they, in the prison. No, they draw straws. And it's oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's just yeah, it's just something that all of them have to do at some point. You got to you want to be a guard. You're eventually yeah. you're gonna be waving around an executed man's penis. Like, that's just all not even <laughs> not even overtime. That's crazy. That's just Private all the prisons are wiling out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, guys, you should write your congressman. Yeah, you got to stop this whole sexual favors in lieu of a last <laughs> meal policy. This shit is unethical. <laughs> Guys, it's prop he got, one. He got, he got guards one. sucking dicks and smacking them around. It's not right. <laughs> prop one, two, six. It's all meals, no sex deals. Please help no us get deals. this back. Love and my sadness. Yeah, well, are you giving your love to somebody else? I'm telling you because I need your support, not your criticisms. Oh. It's weird. You fucking, you keep blowing up. I don't know. Ricky Spanish sent a bully, a bully donation. I'm bored. K bye. So the Senate donation basically tell us that this is a shitty show and he's leaving. Yeah, well, Ricky Spanish, maybe I'm bored of you. <laughs> Whoa, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe you should call him one of the words Lauren would call him. Uh,. <laughs> fucking piece of fucking piece of trash. I want to do with myself here. I'm scared. No, well, talk to the fucking guard. He'll fill you up again. Why are you being mean to me? I'm telling you, I'm so desperate and sad. Because you're telling me that you don't love me anyway. I do. You don't know. No, you don't. No, you don't. Uh, yeah. If you love me, you don't fucking grab another guy's hand and put it on your goddamn tip. Okay, don't I, let him kiss you on the fucking neck. Uh, <laughs> it was a lonesome time for me. No, you don't even know the fucking guy. 
I know that's why I just didn't know what to do. I just feel so no sad. Bullshit. I'm disconnected bullshit. from the world. I don't know <laughs> what to do with myself. There's no therapist in here to talk to me. I can't take my schizo meds. I'm sad and happy, then sad again. I tried to tell myself they won't let me. Well, and you'd have Emma going and fucking visit you and have a decent friend in there with you if you were such a bitch to her. Sounds boring. Yeah. Rather rather a guard feel me up. I'd be nice to her and you try to be an asshole to her. Just because she's her skin's a different color. Yep. That's not why. It doesn't make sense. And you go and let a fucking guard feel your tit. That's kiss not- you on the neck when you when you tell me that you're in love with me. I am. I don't know what to. He's mad about so many things at once. It's hard to keep track. It's like he he kind of just bumps into them and remembers that he's upset about it, and then just has to go back it's into that- it, and then yeah, it, it's like free it's association that- rage. It's the anger stack. It's now all the things that he's been upset about are going to come out. Yeah. But at the, the very top of that stack. anger stack, at the very top of that anger stack is the fact that she put her hand, she put her hand, she made that man put her hand, put his hands on her. Like it wasn't anything. Yeah. It, it wasn't like a consensual right, it wasn't thing. Him. She grabbed. Yeah. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't even like he didn't even want to do it. He didn't say like, hey, can I, can I touch them Tita's? She was like, right. give me those hands, put them on me. Now, yeah. Well, he, he certainly was fine with it, you know, after it happened, clearly. Oh, he yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying he didn't. I'm saying, but it. like, it wasn't even like they like they were flirting around. She grabbed. No, no. It's definitely her. not a good thing for her to do. Uh, but, you know, once she did it, he was he was down. Yeah. That's not right. And, and, yeah. So so that's going to piss Lauren off even more that it wasn't her getting hit on. It was her forcing it uh, when she could just wait three months or whatever. And then Lauren would put his um crabby, sweaty hands all over her titties. Yeah, you're three months away from it. I do. I just want to feel like somebody loves me. You didn't want to give me a masturbation last night. I'm not sexy <laughs> to anybody. Yeah. Um, big deal if I don't want to give a man. I don't like fucking phone sex. Are you serious? I want you out here. When? That's all you like. But I'm not doing well. I don't know what to do. Hmm. I can't stay here and die. Has Debbie been in there to see you today? Yes. Why isn't she in there more often? How long was she there today? She's taking care of Rhoda. Yeah, but Rhoda can be in there too. No, she can't. Yeah, she can. No, what? Rota 17. Lauren, I'm not a regular fucking hospital patient anymore. Well, congratulations. Another guy fell your tip and it wasn't me. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you, but I don't want to feel happy. <laughs> About it. about it. She said, "Thank you, but I don't want to feel happy about it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate the the uh, the, <laughs> the enthusiasm. Yeah, the thank props. you. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, congratulations. You just ruined our relationship. Well, look, I appreciate the congratulations. I'm not thrilled, Lauren. I don't yeah. feel like this something I'm supposed to be happy about. Uh, actually, <laughs> about right. it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, you obviously were pretty fucking happy. You grabbed his hand and put it on your own tip. Yep. I wasn't happy. I was scared. It. You you were scared, so you fucking grabbed the guy's hand and put it on your tip. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, yeah. That's a real good excuse. No, it's not an excuse. It's a fucking truth. That it's fucking rack of bullshit. <laughs> you don't believe me. You, you don't fucking love me. You be fucking doing that shit. You're a jerk. No, I'm being honest. If it wasn't me, you wouldn't be doing that shit. I'm scared. You wouldn't want some other guy's hand on your tip. 
I don't want some other guy's hand on my tit. No, well, you, obviously you did last night. No. I- Look at this yard sale. Yeah, that's a that, that's a big sale. That's, that's I mean, look, there's just a, there's really, just really a lives up to the of, hype. There's just a stack of used tires over here. Yeah, really lives up to <laughs> the hype. A, there's just a pile of used tires. How much for me to how much how much do I have to pay you to be able to light these on fire? Just right here in front of your yeah, in front of but you just leave here. them there, light them on fire. <laughs> yeah, I'll give, and I don't, don't want to clean them up neither. I'm gonna walk away. I'm here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna light these all on fire. I'll give you twenty bucks. And I don't want you to put it out till the cell's uh, over. Okay, <laughs> just, gonna, yeah, just let it burn. Let it burn, Lauren. Out. You want to get people. You want to get people's attention. Uh, this dry grass here burning. <laughs> that's gonna get people over here. That's all, the, and you'll probably be on the news. The only thing uh, hotter than the deals is the grass and the tires. Yeah, is is nice, the burning Lauren. rubber right behind the right behind the wood tables? <laughs> nice, Lord, you're doing great. Yeah, it's advertising. I didn't. One. <laughs> the sale. And I was scared. I didn't know how to he's, fix he's, my scaredness. If he's being, if he's going to be the guy tonight, it'll probably happen tonight too. No. There you go. You're making making another boyfriend in there. Stop. Relations. I don't want a boyfriend. He's married. I just wanted to feel sexy. Uh, yeah. So you. So you grab some other guy's hand and put it on your tip. Yes, correct. When you say you're in love with me, how many times? Yeah, you have to say it, it happens. <laughs> you don't make me feel anything anymore. You don't Ooh, make me that, feel that anything hurt. anymore. That's gotta hurt. Uh, like, and then it goes on for 28 more minutes. <laughs> yeah, you're wrong. I really do still mean something to you. You know I mean something. To you. We <laughs> right, both want right. just. We both want this relationship to work. That's why we keep working at it. Oh, no, he, he says that after she says, I feel nothing for you. I feel nothing for you anymore. Stop fucking lying well, to me and yourself. Yeah. You're not just lying to me. We don't want to be apart. You're why are you crying? <laughs> Stop crying, Jamie. We don't want to be apart. <laughs> fucking I like when uh when Tiffany would laugh and he would say, Are you crying? And she would say, Yeah, yes. you're crying or laughing. He wants so bad for her to feel emotion for him. He'll take her laughing. He'll think she's laughing. He's clearly crying. laughing. Yeah, she's like, "Are you crying? Please be crying. Please say you feel something for me." And she's like, "Yeah, and that will make him feel so good." Yeah, you did. Well, you shouldn't have done it to fucking begin with anyway. But I don't matter, so that's why you did it. I didn't say that. I said I'm sad and scared. I mean, it's true, but you didn't say it. What was that? I mean, it's true that you don't matter, but you didn't say it outright. If she didn't say it, yeah, she's implying it with all her actions and everything that she right. doesn't do, right. but she doesn't outright just said it. That's the way she, she keeps did, him on the hook. She did say, I feel nothing for you, though. You would think that would... Well, yeah, that like, was pretty unambiguous. That would let him... I feel that would let nothing him, for you anymore. Yeah, I would... Do you love me? On that one. Yeah. Do, do you love me? Yes, sir. But do you I feel love nothing me? for you. Yeah. Why are you lying do to you me? Do you care about me? <laughs> do you care? <laughs> you said that I don't matter when you grab the guy's fucking hand and put it on your tip. I didn't say that. Uh, you didn't have to. They, your actions were doing it. We're saying it. I'm sorry. Please. 
Please. Help me. <laughs> Did Victor come see you today? No, I can't have visitors. I'm not a patient like that anymore. I keep telling you. I'm lonely. The guard will be there tonight. Well, where do they have yeah. you at? Yeah, I mean, this Lauren, Lauren doesn't understand how isolated she is. She needed someone to squeeze her titties and kiss her neck. Not around she people. Feel like somebody loves her. Yeah. Nobody loves me. Everybody wants to feel loved, Lauren. That's all. Even you Lauren. of all people should understand it, that. Yeah. Right? It just it's sucks for him that all like all you think about. Yeah. His women are always having so many opportunities to be touched. Right. Know? I mean, that's unfortunate, but you know, Ramona it's... getting her knee touched by that doctor, which of course that's life, the most, you know. The most erotic zone. Yeah, that is life. That is life. <laughs> <laughs> have me in confinement in the medical wing in locked room how long do you have to be in there until they figure out the charges they need to test the doctor in three weeks if he has hiv it'll be attempted murder well considering victor said he changed the needle so it wasn't the needle that victor, that victor had that you used. so nobody knows that and I don't believe him. He didn't bring any needles. He's a liar. I try to keep you from doing this stuff that you do. And I don't know why you keep doing that stuff. Everybody looks better with a tattoo. Eh? No, they don't. And it doesn't matter. It's their choice, not yours, to give them one. I'm gonna die. Nobody will remember me unless I do it. People are gonna remember you when they they, they want to remember for, you for better things, not for fucked up shit. I am so angry with you. Well, I'm angry with you too. I'm sorry, okay? No, you weren't sorry when you, when you did it. The yeah, I... neck. That's, that's... No, obviously you weren't because you just don't. I mean, isn't that normally how it works? Like, they do the action and then they're sorry afterwards? Of course she wasn't sorry at the yeah, moment. Yeah, well, no, Lauren wants her to be sorry before she does it and then just not do it. That that milk is already spilled all over the floor. You gotta let it go. Well, put and the milk back in the fucking jug then. I, sc I scraped the fucking milk up, Roy. You fucking threw Wait, the milk out? You fucking scooped it up and threw it out? I drink that milk, Roy. I saved that. You put it through fucking a coffee filter, you put it in a glass, you drink it. It's not and that the rest difficult. you wash your face with. It's not that difficult. <laughs> Lord watching his face with milk residue and like pet hair and just and just dust yeah. from the floor. It's it's natural. It's like it's going to that lush, you know? It's right. an exfoliating cream, is what he calls it. Yes. <laughs> well, it was an accident. It wasn't an accident.
this is when Lauren did the most low cal of low cal things and and thought that because people were watching his videos to laugh at him, uh, that they really people were just really interested in his life. So he recorded this long ass video of him driving in the snow. That's really stupid. Fuck wanted oh. to see those. Yeah. So well, well, you're clearly fans. Dance, monkey. Get back in the kitchen yeah. and make something awful. Or you know, make a shake weight video. No one wants to watch you drive, you dumb fuck. Everyone drives. This isn't impressive. Every pedo drives, but not every pedo makes vegan porkless bites, Lauren. Now yeah, get back in that kitchen, exercises. big guy. Get back in that kitchen, big guy. Show us what you got. Your fans are waiting yeah, for shake you. Shake that weight. Shake that weight. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna have one more cigarette and then I'm gonna go to bed. You can you can go to bed with me or not. It's up to you. But I gotta get up early to work and I need sleep. I get up there and get that load before this friggin' snowstorm gets here. <laughs> I'm horny. <laughs> no. I'm horny, but that guard will be there. Why are you worried about him, man? Never was until you did that shit. I just wanted to feel sexy, that's all. More fucked up shit. You don't understand what it's like to be alone. To be in love? Alone. So when you're in love, you don't just fucking hand your body over to anyone. I you said know. alone. Yeah, and I said in love. I said alone. Yeah, and I said in, in love. I will trade so you're in love for with, attention. So you're in love nobody, with me. Nobody gives me attention. So when you don't need constant attention from people. Why not? Well, you know, Why? Why would you want constant time? Why wouldn't you want some time alone? I'm sure you can think about things for just you. Without everybody else right there. I don't know how to I be can, normal. I can understand not wanting to be alone. I don't like being alone. I love being with you. Or anyone. But there are, there are times I need I need alone time. No, there's not. It's because I uh, things that I have to take care of and but not Lauren would never want alone time. When has he ever asked for alone time? He's demanded anything but alone no. time. If he has alone time, he'll have to think he'll be alone with his own thoughts. He'd rather fucking die. Yeah, yeah. Unless he was going to do some like some dirty shit, he was going to drink when he said he wasn't going to, he would not want to be alone. Right. The only thing he wants to do alone is something that he's ashamed of doing. Seducing children and drinking. See? Yeah. But yeah. also he wants to drink with you so that you'll think he's a fun guy. Right, it, it's yeah, like, which is a, a trick. Like that boy, that Lauren, that's he's one bad boy. Did you see how smash he got drunk? To, he got tonight. Wow, yeah, that's no, a bad he's, boy. He's fucked up. He's a bad boy. He drives Tiff drunk. Tiffany, I I bet you're over there salivating because right. he's such a bad boy, and she's like, oh yeah, because that's how she says. Right, Lauren, I'm you Tiffany like a bad Rockstar. Boy. Does yeah. that sound pretty? Does that sound like her? Oh, fuck. I thought you joined the call. Uh, it's me, Tiffany Lockhart. Hi, love. Hello, everyone. It's me, <laughs> Tiffany Lockhart. <laughs> Welcome to the show. I can't oh, Lauren. <laughs> it was easy. It was easy. <laughs> Tiffany, you sound amazing tonight. Thank you for joining us. That's why I'm here. I wanted to show off. 
people that keep saying it, so I need time to think. And, uh, uh, huh? Not when you're dying, you don't want to load time, stupid. Well, yeah, you do because you want you want to be able to gather yourself. You don't know what I want, and you don't know what I need. Well, All you do yeah. is worry about your own feelings. Of course. Of course. So technically, this video was titled wrong. Because it's Winnie touches hmm. another guy to make him touch her. Right. Winnie Winnie induces another guy to touch her. Yeah. 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 Uh, Winnie, yeah. Winnie commits crime by inducement. That's exactly what it but I mean, but then he the guy was fine with it. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's, it's not a crime. It's only a crime in Lauren's eyes. Good Samaritan. Yeah, it's just Good adultery. Samaritan. Your body's gonna heal. It's a little adultery between yeah, guard and, and, and inmate. That's all. Um, Patrick, we'll play some smooth moderator before we close out. We got about 19 more minutes left on this one. Skirt. Leave, leave guys' hands away from you. <laughs> I'm gonna, I shouldn't have to tell you. What the hell is that noise in the background? Siren idiot in the fucking hospital. Oh, no. Doesn't mean I knew exactly what it was. What do you think it was? Debbie was the only one that you saw today? Yes, only because she brought me a lawyer and that's it, because I can't have visitors. Yet. Jesus. Jesus. Little girl, go lay down and be good. Help me. I'm horny. I didn't Baby. mean to do that. Yeah, you did. No, I. Yeah, you did. Otherwise, you would not have done it. Otherwise, you would have thought about me and said, no, I'm in love alone. I don't want to do that. But I was lonely. That obviously, that obviously Lord, did no not Lord, no one's happen. in love with you. That's a bully comment. Well... Maybe I'm a bully. I've been a bully this whole time. I want you to hear something. Please. It, it were all the British guards. guy again? Because I'm not it interested. <laughs> I swear to Christ. It were all the guards turning on the sirens to come touch Winnie's breeds. That's what the siren was. Right. The guards they, were, all, they, they were all together in the guard the traffic. in the guard break room. And... Uh, and they took their turn on the siren and formed a perimeter, and they were all going to take turns. Right. Yeah. The one guard came into the break room and was like, "Guys, guys, there's a lady out there. Letting you grab her tit." Yeah, <laughs> one of two. Everyone's just like, "Holy shit!" Take your pick. And then they hit the they hit the, they hit the all clear. The out the door. Right. <laughs> Martinez hit the button. And then Martinez hits the button, and that's the it's the breed button. Everyone yeah, knows. Finally, what to do. someone loves Winnie. <laughs> you know what to do from there. And it's an entire police force. Go touch that titty. Nobody makes me feel like I'm. I'm a hot white lady when I'm in the hospital. Well, maybe you ought to stop all the things that you're doing. I just wanted to feel somebody get passionate about me just once. 
Little girl, go lay down and be good now. I will. No, you were talking to Sadie. I hate it. I want to die. Please kill me. No. These ideas that you get in your head to, to do certain things. I wish, I wish I you would listen to me. I didn't tattoo the guy. Uh, <laughs> huh? I didn't mean to tattoo the guy. <laughs> but whether you meant to or not, you, you shouldn't have even had the tattoo gun in the hospital. That's true. I'm not a just, tattoo artist. But it's what Victor wanted before I died. Well, then Victor could have gone somewhere else to get it. It was supposed to be from my hand, and that's what made it special. I mean, they've, they've, they have tattoos that they're doing in the hospital. Yeah, they Lauren, are very close. Lauren, have you been to a hospital before? Have you been anywhere before? Because like, life just doesn't work this way where they have... Where they're smuggling in tattoo guns to do tattoos in the hospital. Yeah, he's only seen like one flew over the cuckoo's nest and then Oz on HBO. And that's it. That's any things. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, that's it's prison. Fucking, yeah, it's and then well, he was also, you know, in prison. Well, but he spent most of that time writing writing his oh, book. Sure, sure. Yeah, he, he was, was busy. Yeah, he was writing Studying Taking Abroad. He was uh, he was writing a burn book about different people he didn't like in prison, and then he was writing a children's book with a white supremacist. He was a busy man. Right. Played by J.K. Simmons. <laughs> yeah. Well, they should have done before you get in the hospital. And you, you shouldn't have had the freaking... You shouldn't have... You should have done only what he wanted and nothing more. What about the hands on those titties? Let's get back to that. It's not going to do any good to say anything now. It's already done. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> well, you obviously did. Got maybe. him there. The ultimate excuse. I was on the phone the with you when you did. Well, you obviously did, he just said. Yeah, well. Lauren, you obviously meant to drive to a uh, bully. Actually, no. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, well, oh, good I for the you meant my not good for the for the Armstrong. Yeah, let's not let let's focus on you right now. What you did, not me. This rubber glue thing doesn't work with me today. Let's focus on you <laughs> and how you're a piece of shit and how you're disgusting. Yeah, that too. You weren't on the yeah, phone. I on the phone. No, I went on the phone with that one. Not at all impressed with that one. I wasn't doing it to impress you. I was doing it to feel an excitement. Yeah, I know. From some other guy's hand. It's not about his hand. It's about my empty, lonely heart. Um, your empty, lonely heart should not be empty and lonely when you got me all the time. Well, it makes so, me so lonely because you don't love me. No, you know better than that. You just fucking whatever. Whatever. It just tells me you don't really love me. It doesn't tell you that. That's what you gather from yeah, it. it but that's not what it means. Not everything's about you. I yeah, feel. Well, you I feel you lonely mean, here. You, I don't want you to grab talk. some other guy's hand. You grab some other guy's hand and put it on your tip. I didn't grab it. It was not my hand. If you loved me, you never would have done that. I didn't grab it. Oh, he put it on there himself? No. Exactly. He just said, I hope you feel better. 
and I put my hand out like to shake it or whatever and he touched my hand and then I moved it to my breast and he cupped it and sparks flew and you moved it to your breast and he can he tell your tit and <laughs> kiss you on the neck and good thing you had to go otherwise otherwise you won't have having sex he looked around and then he buried well, his now. face in my neck and <laughs> Now we know why this call is this long because he just has the same conversation eight times in a row and just go tries to pull it back to it and get and get a different answer. It's just not happening. Well, because he's just he's saving it at various times in the spank bank in various ways. Right, so right. He, he has to make sure he gets every possible angle. Yeah. Of it. He's piecing right. he's piecing uh so right now what he's doing, he's piecing the details together. So he's gonna ask yeah. just a little bit different each way. It's like a police interrogation. Uh, Lauren is a very yeah. dumb 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 man but he's yeah. um he's pretty he can you know when he's drunk or jealous enough he can get little bits of information like he can never figure out anything but he could if he was you know really had a person he stumbles he stumbles into them he does but like in a and, yeah and, and just like, like a, the police and just like the police lauren is looking to get that information so he can jerk <laughs> off to it later <laughs> he's he he, Mr. Magoo's his way into the, into what he needs to put together a complete right. file, and then he goes, "That file's put away. I'll masturbate to that later." And then he tries to remember if he has any condoms because that's what makes it feel extra good. Yeah, rib for my pleasure. Remember, guys, jack off with the condom. Happy Black History Month. <sighs> that was a that was a, a moment with Tyrone Nuggets. Oh, Tyrone! No, that that I didn't realize that character had a name. Yeah, that's Nuggy. That's Nuggy's. Uh, that's Nuggy's real dad, Tyrone Nuggy. Is that the same as the Sleep Well guy, or is that a different person? It's just, it ba- it's basically the same person. Tyrone Nuggy. Tyrone Nuggets is also basically yeah, also, also Sleep. Okay, that's fair. So this is, oh Nuggets is his last name. So he's the father of of Evil Little. Yeah, the left got when, it. Okay, when Evil Little McNuggets was was you know it's a whole thing. Yeah, no, that sounds like a lot of lore. <laughs> it's way too late for lore right now. Ducked on yeah. it and kissed it a little bit and said, get better. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Of course. I and then complete. he took his sucked hand. On it and kissed it and out. sucked on it and surprised it didn't suck on your tip. Then he took his hand out of my dress and my gown. Out of your dress. There you go. My gown. <laughs> whatever. A, a gown. Yeah, whatever. Don't give a fuck. Whatever. And left. Were your legs spread wide or were they just half wide? Or like, tell me about those. You have shoes on or no shoes? Yeah, out your to get when a very detailed picture so he knows how mad he needs to be and how hard he can jerk off. <laughs> Never. What? Shows how much you fucking give a fuck about me. Yep. I give a lot of fucks about you. Uh, sure don't fucking seem it to me. Let some of the other guy doing that fucking bullshit. I didn't Whatever. mean to. No oh, bullshit. You do the same fucking shit all the time. Have you ever been lonely? It doesn't matter if I've been lonely or not. When I tell somebody I love them, I don't go fucking cheating on them. Yeah, you do. I've heard you on the phone. Congratulations. Okay, that's true. I've heard you before. You've cheated a lot of times. And you weren't even dying. <laughs> That's true. Like Lauren can't even Lauren can't even lie because all those calls are on the internet. Yeah, they're just out there. Yeah, Imagine, Lauren does it because he's bored. Lauren does it because it's opportunity, and he has FOMO dick. Yeah, he always has he's FOMO got that dick. FOMO dick. That dick's only going to get hard so many more times before it just stops working altogether. Yeah, right, which it's already arguably it, has already happened. We've crossed it, the threshold. It's already running at low capacity. He can't pass Especially up now that every he's dead. Hey, <laughs> look, that all right. Look, I'll, I'll, <laughs> is that a bully I'll, comment? No, I just I, that he's passed away. I just feel like if we're gonna do this, we need to do it right. Breaking news. I'm Gary Glipstone. Here's Wes Most with a special report. Wow. Thanks, Gary. My favorite guy's ne- back again. <laughs> News from the from the most worst studios it is confirmed by TLI Lauren Armstrong dead at the age of 78. Once 78 again, years old, coming up, frozen solid like Jack Nicholson. 
famed, famed predator and failed singer Lorne Lynn Armstrong dead at the age of 78. Uh, will you sing in the arms of an angel? In the arms of <laughs> the angels. You fucking died in your house. Oh, hold on. I think I have a better song. You know, I have a song that goes with it better. Oh, yeah, this is mournful. This is, this is funeral music. My cat may need a wake. Murders it, make not a way. He buries face in this pussy. No church for the bark fly. Okay, it's breakfast this food not. I just wanted to hear the part where she said no charge for the farts. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's very generous. <laughs> no, I've never paid for a fart. I don't know if things are different in Canada, but here in the States, here in the good old U.S., those are free, always, everywhere. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of flatulence. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us tonight, CLI. Have a good love, night, love everybody. You. I, I love it. Coochies and culos. America. <laughs> By the way, my hand went on the my hand my hand went on the anyone else's tip. Real fucking smart move. Yep. I don't want to do a smart move. <clears throat> I just want to feel. I want to feel. You want to feel like, somebody's hand on you. I just want to feel alive. I didn't mean it, and the guard didn't mean it. He was probably, maybe he saw I had popcorn left in my hair, and he went to go grab it with his mouth. That's probably it. No, I don't think so. It's kind of obvious. Whatever, you let him do it. Should I make a report on him? Why, when you're the one to let him do it? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna say? I grabbed him. I grabbed his hand and put it on my on my tit, and he bent over and sucked on my neck. That's not how it happened. I touched his hand and moved it. I don't give a fuck how it happened. <laughs> I don't care. You yes, did it. Give him, give him the blow by across my time. breast. Look. Yeah. Well, like, I've got those details. I need the other details. What did the room smell like? Could you hear anything down the hall? The faint whisper of a TV, maybe? Right. He's trying to get hard here. Yeah. You're, you're not helping with all the retelling of the same shit. He's already he re round past this part of the porn many, many times. Now. He's trying to get to the part he hasn't seen. You're fucking it up. We've heard this fucking tale. Yeah. <laughs> Point blank. Yeah. Across your breast. There you go. There you go. Stop saying Give yourself all fucking horn. No. All fucking horny. We're thinking about it. Stop saying tit. Doesn't matter what I say. You still did it. And in mid caress, he looked one way and the other. <laughs> well, there you go. How romantic. And buried his face in my ass. I mean, my neck. Whoa. Yeah. Hey, guard. <laughs> Whatever. And, and here he is now. Here's the guard. Hi, here's guard. The, here's the, hey, guard. Are you here to bury your face in my ass again? Hi, hey, guard. You still, your mouth still smells like my ass. <laughs> Why did they send you? What happened to the other guy? Yeah, You're feeling. You're black. Oh, oh Jesus! All right, Lauren. I guess you have nothing to worry about tonight, baby. <laughs> oh, there we go. Well, I'm not about it anyway. You don't, you don't love me. Yeah, absolutely. Happy Black History Month, everyone. <laughs> um, but it, but you would think Lauren would be happy that that would make him happy that she said that, but he doesn't sound very happy about it. No, because you know he, she already did something. Well, give it a shot. Give it a shot. Maybe you'll like the black guy. Tell me about it. Right. Come on, Winnie. How black Maybe was his hand? Was he's it, upset because she's it, being racist? Was it charcoal black or Coca Cola black? Mm, good question. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta ask. Yeah, hi. No, you don't. You did. You never would have fucking let that shit happen. 
Whatever, this motherfucking. I can hear you in the background. What? What is that sound? I really, I really don't know. Is that your Hitachi? It's not me. This is uh, this is in the call. Yeah. Okay. You, okay. That's not your Hitachi. What? Oh, well, you paused it and stopped. Well, you yeah, because you turned it off because you knew that I was pausing it. Just yeah, because I just can't. Wait. Cause I can't. <laughs> Come on, I'm done using it. Oh, now it's back on. You pervert. Yeah. We're trying to come again. <laughs> Ever heard of it? Racer oil on that thing, God. No. Oh, is it like Lord's generator or something? I have no idea. It, it could be him, like heating his his trailer. Why are you just coming out of one of my last furnace? Now? What did you do? Huh? What did you? I'm. You're only coming out of one of my uh, one of my headphones now. Well. Uh, I don't know. Let right. me see if I can fix it. Are you fucking with stuff? Stop stop messing with your uh your adjustment. I'm not digging around. Stop messing around with your stand up desk, Jordan. Just wait till oh, we're done. Jesus. How about now? You're stupid. Whatever. Stop making that stupid loud noise. That's why I let the guard touch my brows. <laughs> Will you please put... Did Maria come over? No. You were going to touch her breast. Nope. She didn't even come over. Not even your probation officer will keep a date with you. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Yeah, it's pretty fucked. <laughs> Not even your probation officer will... Wow. <clears throat> and it's her job. I mean, Lauren thinks his probation officers are his friends. They are his friends. They're there to protect him. Yeah, and to protect him, make sure he's in a face-to-face -face relationship and that he's happy and, and, and loved. All they want is the best for them. And you you call them a probation officer. He calls them a guardian angel. That's really what they are. Yeah, they're a godsend to him. They make Lauren dream coach. It's a it's a person that he can depend on that'll be there and cares and wants to know how he's doing. His probation and, officer knows him better than anyone, probably. Yeah, and checks up on him. Yeah, like that's unlike all he wants. Everyone else. Kind of like my girlfriend can't keep commitment to me. I'm sorry. 
Mm-hmm. You're right. I was so vulnerable and scared of the reaper. Line. What? I apologize, sweetie, my love. No. Shouldn't have had to apologize because it never should have happened. I shouldn't have to apologize because I explained to you my state of mind. I was all fucked up at the time and I never even meant to do it. No, whatever. That checks out. Nope. Isn't like that. Did he say what that? It sounds like his refrigerator is is going bad or something. Yeah, his refrigerator's running. Oh my god! Better catch I, it. Better catch it. This is. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Don't don't do the. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I didn't guy. do the British guy. I didn't do the British. Guy. Oh! This is what you project, project, this is what you want. This is what you want. You like that? Must have been really embarrassing for her to lose like that. <laughs> just, just get destroyed by a by a pedophile yeah. dancing with some teenage uh, with some teenage boys. She only yeah. had one move. That was her downfall. That was that was it. And it was the move. And it was the outfit. All of it. All of it yeah. was the downfall. The dirty the dirty gray panties. Not a good look for the uh, for the twerk video. I love it. <laughs> Hi. What? Will you please give me your forgiveness? Why well, don't you just turn around and do it again? That's what you're doing. I will well give you my figure. You know, you're gonna fucking turn around and do it again tomorrow when he comes in anyway. No, he's dying. Man. <laughs> he's done with my bullshit. Hello? I'm here. Please give me forgivenesses. <laughs> Might as well. You're going to do it again anyway. Do you want me? At least he knows. I yeah. don't want to. He's not wrong. I like that he's accepting. I like that he's accepting that it's going to happen again. And if he's accepting yeah, that, then he doesn't he's even fine care, with really. It. Yeah, it's going to bother him, but he's going to be fine with it. Go do what yeah, you want. as well do. forgive you now because you're going to do it again. I, I really feel like if she could do it without him finding out about it, like as long as he wasn't right in his face, he would be fine with it. Just come home to me tonight. <laughs> he, would, he would be one of those, one of those partners. Ah, uh, one of them, one of them fellas. You do it, yeah. You do it anyway, regardless if I want you to do it or not. I tell you, I don't want you to do it, and you do it anyway. You like cheating on me. You don't know why the fuck I want to stick around for somebody who wants to cheat on me all the time. Good question. You no, know, I'm not very fucking happy about it. I'm sorry. Weren't sorry when you did it.
Hey, should I have Hanson voice over a new intro for the Lorne um for the Lorne teacap footage based off the new information we have about him? I mean, probably if he's if he's willing. Well, well I mean, I I, I, well. re- I record with I do those wraparounds and shit. I can just add it. I think it'll be funny. Right. Like he's a yeah. whatever fifty year old man who doesn't know the difference between were and was and was. Were and was. And <laughs> Yeah, I mean, wasn't. <laughs> was you? <laughs> like that's so funny. Was you? Was you? <laughs> the ped- the pedophile who lives in the broken down trailer and who doesn't know English very well. I mean, how amazing is that story? Every town has one, <laughs> and that and it's Lord and, and it's he had Lauren a cooking, Armstrong and he had a cooking show on YouTube. <laughs> He had a cookie show on YouTube and fancies himself a country music star. Yeah, there's really no other story like this. <laughs> Nor should there be. Like if if the internet didn't exist, the story doesn't exist. Like if this was I, thirty I mean, yeah, years ago, because he would have been would grooming be out there. He would have been grooming kids, like trying to groom kids in, in his local area. There'd be no internet for him to get caught up in. There'd be no internet for him to do all this dumb shit on. He would just be Cornville's little Cornville's little problem. But like I mean, I think of the he'd internet. be dead. I, I think, again, he'd be... I, I think, like, he's so dumb that he would have been caught by the wrong father or the wrong, you know, uncle or something who oh, like, got shot in the chest with a shotgun. That'd be the end of it. Yeah. Like Clarence Nuggets. Yeah, like, just like Clarence Nuggets. He's like... R.I.P. Hey, it's me, Clarence Nuggets. You fuck with my family, I'm about to break your ass. I'm about to break your ass. Is that what he says? <laughs> yeah, that's Clarence Nuggets. That's his catchphrase. You fuck with my family, I'm going to break your ass. Yeah, so the Lorne Identity's catchphrase, I just have my Celsius and um, I'm full of energy. Let's yeah. start the show. I and love it. <laughs> Clarence Nuggets is, I'm going to break your ass. Yeah, that's, you, again, you, very powerful. I want, I want my fries hot. You fuck up my order, I'm going to break your ass. Oh. Uh, yes, sir, yeah, Mr. That's, Nuggets. That's pretty, that's pretty uh, threatening. Well, and and I, Nuggets family kind of sounds uh, toxic and terrible. Come on, end up doing it again anyway. You've done, the same, you've done the same thing how many times? I've never done that before. No. No. Never gave anybody, never gave anybody a hand job? <laughs> what? No. Who gave... What, how was that a hand job? He's just, he's just fishing for stuff now. Well, the hand did do a job. Squeeze yeah, it something. It, it led another hand to her breast, and it paid in neck kisses. And apparently, he ate her ass. Yeah, uh, and it and if he did, I promise you, the farts were not free. Uh, even if he did, no, eat those her farts ass. cost money. Yeah, she's in the hospital. I, someone's paying for that. Uh, and then, of course, next up, you had the. I guess this was Friends, what. We just thought that- what is AI? Will robots kill humans and take over the world? By Monkey huh. Mama facts. <laughs> Monkey Mama facts. I just want to hear a few seconds of this. Please say no. Okay. Oh. I will destroy him. <laughs> oh shit, it's the British voice. It's Jamie. What is this? Monkey Mama's afraid of the future. <laughs> what, is, what, what is this? 
why is it called Monkey Mama Facts? And why because was clearly, <laughs> this is a monkey mama, and she has something to say, and she's got knowledge in and the area that we facts. might not have knowledge in. Let's just look at the, I don't know what was said before this, but we just, let's, the quick clip here. Let's give it to us, monkey mama. I think I have to Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. I'll keep you warm and safe in my people's zoo. <laughs> yes. I mean, that's scary. I don't want I think that. Mon I think Monkey Mama's talking about Jeffrey right now. Just like going yeah, I think Monkey Mama's on to something. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Monkey Mama. Not the same. Not the same since, um, since since vex bullied the original monkey mama off of uh, off of youtube but at least someone there is another the void someone has to fill the void and it's monkey mama facts uh what what is ai will robots kill humans and take over the world a much different tone than mermaids <laughs> yeah, that was a little more whimsical this is like oh are we gonna fucking die from this mermaids are gonna kill us there's well, no apocalypse that starts with mermaids. Uh, we don't know. We you couldn't understand the video. You, I thought you would be able to help. Well, um, I can. I, I speak this language. You don't know that. But you but you didn't help me. You said you didn't even know what the guy was saying. You didn't say anything about. Because I want anything. you to. I want you to learn on your own. I, I want you to. <laughs> I want you to learn something from this. Was, you can't just you, play you, videos that you don't know where you don't know what's going on. Just because it's monkey guess, mom on the front of it. I guess this is, I guess this is a lesson for all of us. Uh, yeah, mostly for you, but yes, definitely for all of us. For, for, for all of us. Don't make me break my foot off in your ass! Oh, there he is. Yeah, that, that's, that's my white mama. Um, my white mama. So TLI, thank you, for, uh, thank you for joining me tonight once again. What did, what did you think of... <laughs> what did you think of the show? Oh, that... I love it. That wasn't a question for me. I never forgot. I didn't realize. No, seriously, what do you think of the show? Yeah. This is definitely one of the shows that we've done. <laughs> it is. No one can no one can say after we've done recording this that this is not one of the shows that we recorded. You're right. No one will be able well, no one be able to say that. What do you think about the new the new step up spot though? The new step up spot uh, does not bode well for the future of the brand. Uh, I hope the monkey mama in in the other language does not return, and I hope the British guy uh, <laughs> dies in real life. You don't so you don't like the new monkey mama. The new monkey mama is it just doesn't it doesn't add a lot a lot to, a lot for me. You know you don't the, like uh, fear mongering. The, the fake the fake TLI I I'm on board for. <laughs> you, you don't like fake. You don't like fear mongering monkey mama. I don't like AI fear mongering monkey mama as much as I thought I would when you initially wow. uh, started playing it. All right. Well, um, I mean, I still think that we should play a step up commercial before we before we sign. I off, mean, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I think before, so. Because what's going to be Playboy? Sometimes even the most alpha man needs a helping hand. The lone wolf searches for a pack, longing for something more. Because in a world full of betas. We need something to separate the men from the boys. A feral scent to tell the ladies, you don't just know the score, you invented the game. It smells like bacon and a basketball. That's good, right? It's not a scent made for a woman. But it's a scent made for women. You dig? What's it gonna be, playboy? You can either step up or step off. The choice is yours. Right, right on. on. I liked it. I thought. I thought. I thought yeah. that sounded. I thought that sounded really good. I still well, see I, that's powerful. I still think it's a better commercial than Step Up White People. Um, yeah, the <laughs> Step Up White People is really. It's scary. I'm afraid of what it's gonna bring. Yeah. Uh, the title, the title just tells me that maybe they're looking at, maybe they're looking at a little something different. I could be wrong. I could be reading into it wrong. I mean, the essence uh, of Step Up has always been the urban market, and I don't and know and what cutting to corners, do. Cutting corners, yeah, and cutting corners to serve, serve an urban market, market. making reborn a rich man. Uh, I mean, we, he. But you know, if that. they start cutting corners in these white neighborhoods, people are going to start doing something about it. Exactly. That's when people start paying attention. That's when people uh, start and, doing something. And what is? Yeah. And that was very smooth. And speaking of smooth, what a segue 
to this little hit that everyone wanted to hear before yeah. we sign off. Sorry, that guy. sorry, Russian town. No need to. Uh, you were the wrench moderator. That's what the wrenches mean, right? Moderator, wrench, moderator, wrench, moderator. You showed me right there that you were the wrench moderator. But guess what? All right, so TLI, are you coming back next week? Are we doing another one? Yeah, I'll do another one. You said that, like, yeah, I'll do one more. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do exactly one more of these. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we'll 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 plan that, and I will post it in the community tabs. I'm sure there will not be a joke option in the um in the poll, so please don't yeah. choose white women's rap for for next week. No one's so. gonna pick it. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not trying to watch this Farah Farah mom. Oh, this is what we're closing with. We're closing with uh, white. Oh, women's okay, well rap. then, yeah, then I guess we're doing it anyway. No, I'm saying, but yeah, I mean, I hope it's not an option for us to just just review, just to react oh, to this sure. video. On a one we could hour watch. Loop. We could watch White Mama. We we <clears throat> finally we could, or or White Mama Black Mama. Oh yes, that would be fun. Maybe, maybe that's White the option. Op- they get White Mama, a uh, White Mama Black Mama, Sugar Mama. Uh, that was the or mm. what was it called? Sweet Sugar or um yeah. our, monkey, our Monkey Mama. And I mean yeah. this Monkey Mama. <laughs> monkey one mama. of the several <laughs> films involving like women in chains. <laughs> or or Monkey Mama facts. Maybe people would yeah, like yeah. Monkey Mama facts. Well, I mean, if that's the case, then I yeah, I I, I might take a nap. I might take <laughs> no, a long nap. <laughs> well, I have the other TLI. I have the uh, I have the other. Yeah, no, TLI. he's fine. Well, he <laughs> loves it. <laughs> he loves everything. He also has another one where he says that he he ate his um. No, well, I'll, I won't. I won't ruin yeah. it for you now. Uh, so all right. Well, uh, <laughs> everyone, thank thank you so much for joining us, replay crew. Thank you, especially you, uh, Randy, Randy. Hold on, Rand, Randy Moss new fan of the show randy moss who was here for his birthday the other day wow. uh thank, thank you very much and then taco uh slash his wife uh and then all of your all of your mums so uh any, if i don't see you before my next stream on friday night spade in the shade with evil little mcnug nugs hopefully i will see you monday for mo negros and sleep well all right now you do one sleep well Nice. <laughs>
No, not really. Here we go. My name is Joan, and I'm here to say I like rapping in a major way. Now I'm a nice guy and I'm not a rap bastard This flow is too slow, so now I'll go faster The last of me just spasm, I'm falling chasm Women take me every time they're a guest I make funny songs, I make silly sketches Hit the like button or you'll get stitches I make fun alone, I make fun alone My jokes get you off much better than porn Like someone subscribe and like my vibe Hit that bell as well, can no shit to do so oh! Oh! That was too fast Oh, oh god